All right, boys, girls, and goblins, welcome to the Stream Bro Chachos. All right, for those of you unaware, this is Super Mario Gravity, and this is one of the most ambitious mods ever made for Super Mario Galaxy. If you haven't heard of it, you should, oh my god, I, I don't even know where to start. This is basically the closest we'll probably get to a Super Mario Galaxy 3. When I say this is the most ambitious, this is actually a mod that's going beyond what other mods are doing. It's basically creating galaxies that are almost what Nintendo would make themselves. In fact, in some ways, even more interesting. You know, I, I, I will be, I'll be, I'll, I'll go for and say that. Like, it is actually insane how much Mario Galaxy modding has advanced. And this is the mod that's basically putting everything together. After all this time, th this is the closest to a full game mod. Now, this is just the demo. This is only the first four galaxies, well, not first four, but four galaxies from the game, but they are insane. It is actually insane. And in the background, you can already hear custom music. Oh my god. I mean, you know, it's, it's already exciting. Oh my god, it's, it's just fun, it's just fun. But look at the, look at all this. This is, this is cool, this is cool. It, it's, it's basically Galaxy 3, if it was built within Galaxy 2. Uh, we'll use the Nerebi. All right. But yo, welcome to a Oh, that's so exciting though. I can't wait. I'm pretty sure a lot of you all haven't heard of this mod. Because if you're not like in the Mario Galaxy uh, community, you, you probably just don't know. And so that's why that's why it's so cool to see. You'll see. And we're not going to like start off randomly on Starship Mario or something like every other mod. No, look at this. Look at this. What? Mushroom news. Oh, that's so cool. A strange comment has appeared. I've never seen a mod of cutscenes. What the frick? That's actually insane. Look at this! The Luigi hat? Mario's house is vibrating. Oh my god. What's the name of the mod? Super Mario Gravity. It's literally on the title. Holy shoot though. But yeah, this is basically this is basically the closest we'll get to Mario Gravity. I mean Mario Galaxy 3. So we have the Luigi hat. That, that just kind of sits there, okay. Holy shoot though, that is that is really crazy. How does the mod work? Uh basically you just uh you use it using a dolphin emulator or use Revolution, which is a mod like kind of launcher for the Wii or Wii U, and you just install the mod and bought a buoy. What is this thing? Little circle guy. But yeah, look at this, look at this. Hello there, Earth Dweller! Oh, it was a Luma! I didn't even know it was a Luma! Dude, you can't even tell. I came from a distant galaxy. Power stars have been stolen by several evil creatures. But we believe you may be the chosen one who can help us. Are you ready to help and save our friend? Not now! No. Oh, okay. Are you sure? Ah, it's the illusion of choice. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, man, that's actually really cool. All right then, until the next adventure. Coward! Whoa! Whoa! Have you changed your mind? Yeah, we'll go. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to turn to lunch now. Man, that's cool. That's funny. Coward, Jesus Christ. Calling me out like that. But yeah, what an interesting opening. I've never... The fan games usually don't even change the dialogue. This is this is crazy. This is insane. There's not a single lava in sight. All right. So this is kind of where we start off the little home menu, right? Welcome to the Super Mario Gravity demo. Simply point with the pointer at your desired target and press A. And of course, also simply use the stick. Have fun. That's fun, though. He has been saved. All right, where do we go first? So do we want to go to uh, this snowy world, this space world, this city, or this gas station? Oh my god, that's cool, though. Woo! Actually, right, you got Undertale yesterday? You've been playing it nonstop? Ever going to do an Undertale stream? I've done Undertale, and I've also done a, I've done a few Undertale streams, so we'll probably go back to Undertale one day. But for now, we're doing Mario Gravity. Ooh, this needs to be official. This is pretty cool. This is crazy for a mod. They put in they put in a lot of work into this. Let's let's just start left or right. No, no, no. No, okay. D did the point not work? I the arrow's not moving for some reason. Okay, I can just use the stick, right? Yeah, that, that works as well. I don't know why pointing wasn't working, but whatever. Woo! Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's crazy though. Insane. Spin City. Oh my. Welcome to Spin City. That's cool though. That, that's insane. You've already seen the beginning. So like, it's like, what are the levels gonna be like? I can show you the trailer for this after we're, we're done. But like, as you can see, they put in their effort. Mario arrives out of a freaking train. That's insane! There's nothing like that even in the base game. We got some NPCs we can talk to. Sure there's a lot of traffic today. Where's my streetcar? But yeah, look at that, look at that. What is this? 
is? What is that supposed to be? Okay, uh, don't jump out of the city. Uh, we have a lesson learned. Holy shoot. We can just kill the inhabitants of the city. We have a seesaw. Does it work? It does work! See, that's cool. That's cool. Oh my god. Have you been wearing your narrow bracelet you made to school? That's so cool. Amazing. Love to hear it. What do you say? Sometimes you can find strange odd things in garbage cans. Huh? How do you open that? Oh, there's coins in it. That's cute. Look at that. They're making custom items and all that stuff. And all these cars, obviously, these are all custom made. Oh, and he just tells you how to do it. Okay. They, they really went above and beyond, though. Look at this. Look at this. There's no cars in Mario Galaxy. There is no city level in Mario Galaxy. It's kind of like Odyssey to an extent, you know? Because Odyssey is like the only one that has like New Donk or something in it. Holy shoot. How do you make shorts? Want to make shorts like yours and pair? Ah, uh, you make them. I mean, what else do you really say? It is like Odyssey. They have these things. Whoa. Goodness. This Goomba's floating a little bit. Hello there, floating Goomba. It's still a demo, but yeah. One of the new Dong Sunshiny Galaxy you just click on? The most ambitious Mario Galaxy mod ever made. Kind of insane. Look at all this! This level just keeps on going! How many stars are in each galaxy? What do you want, buddy? What do you want? Hey, what the heck are you doing on my roof? Are you the gardener about time you showed up? Wait, so if I kill these guys... Is that, does this feel like a quest? You got the combat medal! Oh my god! They left the combat medal behind the quest. That's actually really clever. Wow. You're like, what editing program? Pear uses Movavi, and I use Sony Vegas. Actually, no, it's just Vegas Pro now. It's not Sony Vegas anymore. Construction site. Great. And we're just back to the start. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but that's cool. A little interesting thing. I got to tell their site that's memes. Wow, though. They really. Holy shoot. I've been waiting a while for this demo. Like, they kept on delaying it, and for like, good reason. They had good reason to delay everything. They were working on it, but... Holy shoot. It's actually impressive. I've been playing Mario Galaxy mods for a long time. I've probably played like, I don't know, 20? I don't know if it's that much, but I've played, I've played a lot, and there's, there's really nothing that comes close to this. I, I don't even know where you would start in trying to make something like this. The animation, the 3D modeling, the, the concepts. Like, there is plenty of levels that are just, like, custom levels in Mario Galaxy mods, but there's nothing really like this. It, this is just in another level. Man. Holy cow. Ooh, hello there, Axel. There were two EX. Look at this. Look at all these cars. Oh, my God. And the thing is, they had to get this all running on the Wii as well. Keep that in mind. Creating a custom mod for, like, an emulator is a little bit simpler than using it for the Wii. Because you don't have to, like, consider power or anything, right? This, they do have to. The fact this is all running smoothly on, technically I'm on a Wii U, but smoothly on hardware, that's insane. That is just another step, like, I am, I am like, simping this mod right now, but like, I've been playing mods for a while, and there's just, there's just been nothing this level. It's, it's actually insane. I, I didn't know Mario Galaxy modders had it in them. Ooh, you hear hell there, man, nine. But yeah, like, when I say these mods could be, like, levels that Nintendo made, Honestly, it would be. It's close. Oh my god. I am surprised Galaxy never had like a city level theme uh, thing. Like, they had some towns and some weird stuff, but like, I think of like cars or like skyscrapers or anything. In fact, it really, it took until like New Donk to like really explore that. With the fuzzies and the pipes up there. That's interesting. We had the mole up there, weren't. Standard Mario Galaxy stuff. But, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. This is so hype. When the goddamn is this the coolest Mario Galaxy mod known to man? Ooh. What editing program do I use short? I use uh, the same program for shorts as I do uh, other videos. I use uh, Vegas. I use CapCut for the uh, subtitles though. So I will I will say that. If you want to do subtitles automatically, don't give them my hand. It is a waste of time. Ah oh, shoot. A little annoying. Wait, I just realized the life the health bar is custom! Oh, they really went all in. You play Block Blast? Imagine. Imagine playing Block Blast. All right. And there's this. The Goomba sliding down. Oh, I'm killing the... No, they just killed the Goomba! Killing the Piranha Plant, though, spawns flowers. That's that's cute. That's a cute little thing. Here comes a noise in a cool way. Welcome. Welcome. Howdy. Let's see. 
Why is your voice so calming? I don't know. It's, it's very odd. You know, I never have people in real life say that. It's not a thing normal people say. But on the internet, apparently that's very common. Alright. And then I'm gonna make the assumption that if we walk up here, it'll, it'll put us in that. Yeah. It's a pretty common thing in like Mario. Even like Mario Wonder kind of has like little walls that do that thing. Alright, dude, this is so cool. This is insane. And it's also much longer. I don't think there's many levels in Mario Galaxy that are normally this long. I wonder how many stars are in each galaxy. That's my point. It could just be one really long storm. Maybe it's more than one. The fact that there was a comet, though, means there has to be something else, right? Oh, man. Alright, one final plant defeated. I can't wait, though. I can't wait to see the full mod. So, if you go into the guy, a little guy who made this mod's uh, server, not his server, his uh, YouTube channel, he's got a few, like, levels, like, his videos on his channel, and one of the levels that's planned for the full mod, probably, is it's actually a Minecraft level. Where he reskins all the enemies into Minecraft enemies. And the final battle is against a King Kamob that's a reskinned uh, Iron Goal. Really fun, really fun stuff. Oh, so I, I have not seen many like other stuff. So it's notoriously hard to change models of things in Mario Galaxy. Like there's a reason we don't have like custom characters and stuff yet. Elevator! Oh my god! Dude, I, I am just talking. This is this is just insane. Wait, is the boss? What? Help! It's because they're trying to tear down my house. I'm pretty sure they don't have a permit. What is this? Just the moles? Okay. I thought it was be like a boss of like major bros, question mark? Oh, do I kill all of them? I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I gotcha. What were they saying? I was saying something. I completely lost my train of thought because of the little, little enemy battle. What was I saying? Woo! Alright, anyways, anyways, back to what we're doing. Yeah, we're just gonna go murder these guys. I have no idea what I was saying. If I forgot, it probably wasn't important. Oh, but yeah, they're, uh, Mario Galaxy is notoriously hard for, like, changing the models of other uh, player characters. I don't know how hard it is to change the models of the enemies, but it was really, uh, oh my god. I, I could just, I could just keep on going all day about, like, how impressive, like, this is on, like, a technical level. I would say, like, modding is probably easier to get into than creating your own game, but creating a mod of this scale is probably much harder than just creating, like, your own game in Unity or something, which which is insane. Can you long jump and just fly around the building? Probably, right? Can you play FNAF Help Wanted or did you play that already? I have not. I am a coward. The only FNAF games I've played on the channel are FNAF 1 and 2. You can't long jump all the way around the building, but you can long jump around it. It's too long to actually go around. See you soon, new hero. Oh, that's, that's exciting. Changing the player model is literally impossible at the moment. Yeah, so... Ooh, I don't know how hard it is to change uh, the enemy models, but I know I know it's not easy because you don't see it happen very often. Yeah, the player model though. Ooh, one of these days we'll see it happen, but yeah. not soon. One star acquired. Eight minutes, not bad. We did take a time exploring. I kind of was like hyping up the entire uh, mod, but damn, game has been saved. So does like the base change each time? Imagine if it does. We have the picture of oh the Luigi hat left. Oh my god! Oh my god! Playable Luigi! Holy shoots! Okay, yep, there was a W to go in there. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh my god. I saw the Luigi hat, so I, I was feeling it. I was feeling it. Well then, good little, good little chip. It is Luigi time! Was that a new song? Yes. There is a lot of custom songs in this mod. They, they went all out. Alright, so there's a secret star we need to find still. And there's gonna be a comet that we have to find later. Okay. So that makes sense. So one star, one secret star, and one comet. That makes sense. Alright, so you have that yacht? I have a level 9 yacht. Yes, it's rather, rather large. You know the thing the launch star is sending you into is just the starship panel? Oh, that's funny! That's actually funny. Nice little workaround that modders have to do. Also, oh, what's that little thing Mario was like, uh, and Luigi do when they like enter the galaxy and do a little spin? That's interesting. Okay, so now we need to go off the beaten path. There's a star we did not see last time. So we should try to like look around a little bit. That's fun though, that's fun though. Okay, so last time we went up there, the comp metal was up there. There's a balloons on the street lights. I don't feel those do anything. Hmm, okay, let's see. Oh, this is fun though. It's like playing Mario Galaxy for the first time. Like, to an extent. Like, it's not done. And that, that even just makes you think, how exciting will it be when it's done? 
don't know if I can get up there. A lot of these walls aren't designed to be wall jumped on just by being flat. Yeah, otherwise you can do a lot of skips or something. Let's see. You really don't have these workarounds, you just gotta do some custom code. That's even harder. Damn. Which makes it even more impressive! A lot of Mario Galaxy, uh... Mario Galaxy doesn't have a, like, leak or anything for it to work with. So... Not leak, what am I trying to say? A... What am I trying to say? What's the word? It doesn't have a decomp for uh, the entire game. A lot of the custom code has to all just be done in ASM, which is much more impressive. Like, honestly, dude, it's, it's so impressive, like, what modern, uh, Galaxy modders have to go through to make things that are just, like, on any levels like any other game. All right, so this is just the comp metal, right? So there's a little star over there. We can try that. That's an idea. He has symbols that we can call in C++. Austin TMC knows more about it than me. So you can ask him, yeah. He seems to know it. Symbols in C++, imagine that. All right. But yeah, still tricky, still tricky. Man, they didn't have to give us the cloud flower for that. They just gave us the cloud flower so it's not tedious. And I can respect that. It means you can fall off without being like punished for no reason. And honestly, that's nice, that's nice. So the game's not frustrating or anything. Like, you don't have to use the cloud flower. You could probably do this with just spins if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you don't need it, but it's there. And then this, you also don't need. You can just make that jump. So now that we have all three clouds, let's see. Oh, there's a little deactivation there. I was gonna say, can we keep all three clouds and then go all the way to the end? Because if we could do that, theoretically, there is a, there's a little sling star over there. That might be where the secret star is. Also, no, there's just these random black holes in a city. I mean, imagine just work, like driving to work, and they're just like, yep, don't don't accidentally fall off the road. If you fall off, the black holes are gonna instantly murder you. Yeah, that, that's just a fun thing to think about. All right, a little bit further. There's that coin there. Was that always there? I doubt that's important. It's probably just a one-up. All right, what is this thing? Oh, it sends you there. Okay. Where where is the where's the star? There is some sort of secret. Okay. You instantly die if you touch the road. That makes sense. I damn too. <laughs> Drove too close to the curve and now half my car has gotten exactly, yeah, that kind of vibe. I wonder if we can make this. I figured you couldn't. I just, I just decided to check. I'll tell you when you went by it. It is important. Okay, okay. Yeah, if I, if I go, like, past the star, yeah, you can say something. Otherwise, we'll, we'll try to be on the lookout, though. That works out, that works out. What a cool mod though, what a cool mod though. Like, even if you don't know anything about like Mario Galaxy modding, you, you have to respect like all that's going on right now. I grab that. Wait, this little thing's gone. So it doesn't respawn when you die. That's, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, I couldn't see that, the little bowling, uh, the bowler. I don't know. Not the bowl, like the, the wrecking ball, that's the word. Bowling ball, yeah. Bowling balls are definitely used to break buildings. Of course, hacked. Very intelligent. Go in there. You went by it? You went by it? I will just not grab the flag. You will perish. Simple as that. Okay, so it is It is in that section. It's the question mark coin? It is? Oh, it's, well, if it is the question mark coin, I need to respawn because the question mark coin, it's either activated in a way or it isn't. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Does it stay activated when I activate it? That's the question. Because it didn't respawn after death. So that's, that's the question. That's the question. Hmm. Maybe you go back here. Oh, wait, no, it's still the... Oh, it is. It's just in the back. Okay. Okay. I see, I see, I see. If it is the question mark coin. Okay, the question mark coin didn't seem too secret -y. It just kind of seemed like the kind of thing you'd be like, yep, that, that's a one-up. Yeah, new launch show, okay. Shrimple is that. There we go, now new pathway! Red Star, oh my god, the Red Star's never used in the main game. Actually, it's never even used in Galaxy 2, which is interesting. So you want to know how to fly? You need a tutorial? Sure, why not? If you the Red Star, you'll become the Flying Luigi. Fly, jump, and then check the remote. I mean, tell me some tricks. Sure, why not? Press Z in the flight and fall down vertically. You can then direct. 
Interesting. So you might be like, why is there a tutorial? Why is there a tutorial for the Red Star? Imagine not knowing how to use it. But keep in mind, this is a mod of Galaxy 2. The Red Star doesn't actually appear in Galaxy 2. So theoretically, there's a chance that you could have never used it. All right. Well, this is cool. The Red Star is never actually used for platforming or anything in the game. It's just using the one little collector thumb level. So that's actually really fun. Wow. All right, baby. That's so cool. That's so cool. Damn. God, I I can only imagine. Like this is this is well beyond. A lot of mods out there that make custom levels, generally how they just make them is they kind of just put like an area with some like some blocks and stuff, and then they just shove some silver stars or star chips inside of it, and they just call it a day. All right. And here we go. That's cool. That's cool. I feel like they didn't really use it because it heavily re uh, relies on motion controls. I think, unless you're going down like a flying pathway, like if you're like an open world level with the Red Star, I don't think it exactly works very well. And Red Star's more of like a gimmick thing as well, but I, I think you can use widely, that, like that's an example. I think the Red Star could also be neat if maybe use it like in a like race setting. But it is cool to like use it later on. Wait, also, wait, you're saying it heavily relies on motion controls? Oh, red, the Red Star doesn't use motion controls at all, what do you mean? The only motion control for the Red Star is if you shake the remote and spin. Okay, let's see. They literally just come up with a theme and put Silver Stars? Yeah, it's, it's unfortunately the case for a lot of mods. So I assume we're supposed to break all these bricks. Don't do that. We can actually get out of the, like, gunk with that. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there's red coins. Okay, so that's the gimmick here. All right, one, oh, there's eight. Oh, uh, we need to get back, we need to get back, we need to get back. What's one plus one? Uh, two, shrimples this. Okay, so there's eight red coins. Interesting. I doubt there's any log behind killing enemies, but we'll, we'll check that anyways. There's a block over there, there's another red star. So the red stars seem to be pretty common. There's three on the ground already. Yeah, we'll, go to, we'll, che we'll check the Goomba, see if he's hiding anything. Yeah, there was one in the box, okay. Go back, go back, go back. Go back, Mario. I mean, Luigi, you missed it. You All right. You still on question eight of the homework? I'm sorry, man. Homework is a grind. The immortal grind never ends. Woo! You don't point with the Wiimote? Yeah, you, you don't at all. There's a key, okay. That unlocks that. The red star is controlled purely by the stick. There's another red coin. Yeah, the red the red coin's made by Evan Wolf, which is really cool. It gives it gives modders just another tool to use. Because if, if, if you don't play Mario Galaxy, you might not know, but red coins aren't a part of the base game. Yeah, there's one that's in the little truck. You can go grab that. But a lot a lot of mods use uh, red coins now since they're just uh, they were a new feature made. What was it like last year or the year before or something? Relatively recently. Man, it, it is so cool. It's so cool seeing like the Mario Galaxy community basically work together to create features and then people just like use them together. That's so fun. That's so fun. Just making something, just knowing that other people can make cooler stuff with that. that that's such a nice thing. All right, grab that. Five. I'm going to imagine the other ones might be lots of these blocks. That's a coin. All right. Yeah, three. There's quite a few of these blocks. We just got to check around. Should you buy Bowser? Yes. I mean, I need to add some more stuff to the bot. I just haven't gotten around to it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of these blocks. There's so many. It has to be in some of these. There's still three left, though. Oh, there's one down there. Okay. So that's six. So there's still going to be a seven and eight left. Oh, yeah. Bottom boy. And that's so cool, that's so cool. Using the red star in actual like functional setting within a level. I actually have their Derpy Turtle gaming. Okay, well, let's see. So there's still all those blocks up there. We can keep on checking that. Should add a slightly larger Nara? Imagine. It's not a bad idea, actually. That's actually not a bad idea. Did you check pricing for the avatars? There's a link in the description to access like the uh, the shop and everything. Let's see. Did Neo Mario Galaxy use the Red Star? I believe it did in the final galaxy, yeah. I believe it did. Oh, yep, there's one. I, I figured there's one somewhere in these blocks. Oh! Oh my god, that scared me. 
Ooh, I had a heart attack. I thought I was gonna die. Okay, don't ground pound necessarily. Alright, 7 out of 8 acquired. There's one more left. Man, this is actually a cool environment with little buildings and everything. It might be in another one of these bricks. Oh, it is! And there we go. Star acquired. That's so cool, that's so cool, man. Make more narrow colors? Yeah, the colors are easy. I can make more colors definitely as well. All right, Hayek, you're ready for the C-Dot stream? Well, welcome anyways. Fire Dragon, one of the stream bro, Chacho. Ooh, man. How long has the game audio been glitching? The game audio sounds fine, right? It's, there's no reason the game audio should be an issue. All right, you got a hidden star. Mario the Sky Swooper, Spin City. Thanks for playing! Yeah, no, no problem. Oh, that's so cool, that's so cool. Stream keeps lagging? Oh, that's not good, that's not good. It's Hack's capture card? Oh, is it the capture card? Hold on. Why didn't y'all say something? Why not just make the red coins silver stars if they're gonna summon a star? Because you need five silver stars and you need eight red coins? It's completely different. Hold on, hold on. If we're having some lag, give me a moment. I'm going to unplug the capture card and then plug it back in. Let's see if that makes it any better. I don't know why y'all took so long to mention that, though. Alright, there's no reason to- there's no reason to wait that long. Boop, boop, boop. Alright, usually unplugging plugging it back in helps a little bit, at least at least for a time period, right? It's not a solution, but it, it's an answer. Ultimately, what I really do need is- I just need a new capture card that just is better. Mine's really old and stuff, but yeah. For some reason, you're expecting a vertical stream? Vertical streams are only for, like, Kaizo and stuff. I, I I need to go back to doing more regular streams. I've done a lot of vertical streams recently. Alright, there we go. Let's try that. Snowflake Galaxy. No, Starflake Galaxy. Get the Star Balls rolling. Okay, so this guy's is probably a little bit more traditional. Oh, the city is, like, exciting, but, like, snowy levels are a bit more normal in Mario Galaxy. You know what I mean, right? Alright, get the Snow Balls rolling. This is nice, though. A nice little lovely ice level, though. Alright, let's see. Wow, these models, the planets are so pretty though. Oh my goodness. Like, there's a lot of detail for this. Thing. A lot of the normal planets you see in like mods, they're usually just like flat platform with uh, with, with things on it. It's like, no way. Also, a planet actually using the gravity. A lot of mods, a lot of mods are like for like the more flat, like traditional level uh, levels as well. So it is nice to see games use the more Mario Galaxy level planets. Let's see. Oh, chat, hope you're all doing great. We are doing great. Thanks for visiting. Okay, can we go in the igloo? You can. There's Star Bits. Okay, that's cute. Oh, there's a lot more than just Star Bits. There is quite a few. Oh, I don't mind. Let's see. So, obviously, we use the Snowmall to kill the Goomba. We also need to be on the lookout for the Comet. I'll keep that in mind. We got the Comet off the Spin City really quickly. Oh my god, it made a snowman out of the planets? Oh, that's cool. Reunited at last. Alright, we got his house back to him. Oh, there's a house in the background. Okay. That's so we need the snowball over here more than this one. I see, I see. Yo, Silver Unknown member for one month? Yo, appreciate it. W. Alright, let's see. What is this? Huh? Just the flowers? Okay. I'm gonna see. Oh, heck, hello there, Sir Sofa. Okay, interesting. Well, back to what we're doing. Anything else? I, I gotta be on the lookout, though. That is the one thing. The comet metal could be anywhere. Yeah, it's a little snowman thing. That's clever. Just nice little things. Just nice little details. Like, they put in the extra effort. This is not just some, like, mod. It's more than a mod. It's a game. Alright, get that over there. Whack. Meaty whack. And then there's this little correct. Alright, technically it's all been gifted. Look, honestly, it's it's a W nonetheless. Oh, I didn't I did not know that guy was there. So he's only doing the fireball, so we have to go murder him quickly. Got that, got that. Man, that's neat. Wait, how did the fireball hit the snowball? That's not how that works. Come on. Oh we got a full snowman now! The cure just dropped. That's so cute! Who's actually thought of gimmicks made using the existing tools instead of rehashing levels? Yeah, this is this is actually wild. Oh my god. Damn, they they really go all in. 
Interesting though. Interesting, yeah. You would never see like the octopus just uh and the snowballs interact like that. But alas, here we are. Also, I think you can murder the octopus with a spin, but I didn't I didn't try that. I yo it's up spritz. Welcome to the stream, Chacho. I think you can murder the octopus with a spin. I should have tried that. At least you can in Galaxy uh, 1. Let's see. This is so clever. Look at all this though. So, are you part of the main star or are you the common medal? Because I do remember we got the common medal from NBC previously, like a little quest. Alright, so we do gotta be careful. We gotta be smart. Man, oh, look at that. Look, look at all this over here. These little dudes chilling in the like little ice over yonder. Time to murder. Murdering them all. Dude, imagine just chilling in your like little ice zone and some strange green man murders you and your friends. That's pretty, pretty cool. I wish Luigi would murder me. So that's a vine over to the next planet. Don't know if I want to leave quite yet. There's this block here. And we still need the key to save the penguin, right? That's the one thing. I imagine he, he probably does have the car metal. Okay, let's sit up here. I can't, I can't look on that block, okay. I was trying. Let's see. Hey, we mean chilling the trying to kill a god. True, they have sinned by trying to attack Luigi. There's this little platform over here. It's kind of pointless, and pointless usually means it has a point, right? Like, the clear goal is break the, uh, little Goomba, and so you can leave. But then there's this thing. Ooh! Dude, what is this? This little Christmas tree, or evergreen tree, whatever you want to call it, over there. That's neat. What? That is, that is definitely new, right? That is, that is not from Mario Galaxy. Okay, well then, well then. Where is the key? Yeah, where is the key? Do you leave it like under the porch or something? No, I can't even get under there. Okay, there's this, there's these blocks here. Uh, is there like a fire flower we can get? Maybe we can try using the snowball. I don't know if, I, I'm afraid to leave and then come back. Nightbot overtook Venom. Not a surprise. Nightbot has 58,000 milk. Nightbot's here every stream every day. Full time. No wonder he has so much milk. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we haven't even checked the tree. Oh, that's a good idea. That was a good idea. Come on, you have to give me, you have to give me credit where credit's due. Okay. Oh, that, that doesn't break that. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we do need the fire flower. Oh, I got that from gambling. Oh, that's funny. Let's see, let's see, what else? Well, we didn't actually break the block. The block could summon a question mark, uh, I mean a key. It didn't, but it could. Yeah, I'm afraid to leave, because it means I have to come back. And I know, I have to come back for the secret star anyways, but we'll see. Help. Hmm, okay, so the penguins don't really give any hints. Yeah, we might, we might just move on. And there's probably like a pipe or something to return once we get the firefly. All right, it's gonna be. Like, have you played Lego Fortnite? Yes, I have. I have indeed played Lego Fortnite. Plus, it's not too far. We can we can long jump back if we really need to. All right, little dudes. I'm just murdering everybody in case any of the like enemies are tied to a spawn condition that spawns in the key. Just gotta know, gotta know what what can potentially hide in me. What could possibly be a little summoning thing? And all these little blocks, though. So fun. There's not really a reason to click star bits. I don't think there's any lumas in the mod yet, right? I, data's not gonna transfer over to the full game mod, so we do gotta keep that in mind. So there's no reason like me collecting anything long term. It's just kind of fun, makes it a little collector brain itch. Okay, nothing up there except one star bit. There's a little shiver chilling over here. Lovely. Capture card starting to die. Why is it doing that? Okay, let me let me fix that again. We'll work on that. We'll work on that. We'll, we'll just have to deal with it every single time it happens. I, I don't know why my capture card's having issues. I, I don't know if it like overheats or something. I'm not quite sure what causes it, but we'll just have to deal with it as it happens. Apologies in advance, chat. Ooh, sometimes it's good for several hours and sometimes it just doesn't want to run. I kind of want to do this in one stream, you know? So, EDs, what EDs? All right, back we go though, back we go. We should have the footage back up in any second now. Apologies though. All right, any moment, there we go, back, back we go. Is it stream or is it the game lagging? It is the capture card. It is not the game. The game runs fine. Ooh. 
Apologies, apologies. My capture card is just, uh, it's really old. And sometimes the old man doesn't really like doing uh, much. Okay, let's see. Oh, guys, I was about to say this is a 2D section, but no, it's still a 3D section, just the fixed camera. Okay, we still haven't seen the key for the penguin yet. No problem, Max, you just appreciate how to chill your streams out? I appreciate that. I try, I try. I don't want to be someone doing a crazy thing. I mean, sometimes we do hype things, but sometimes we just chill, you know? You cannot wall jump there, I try. A little unfortunate, a little unfortunate. Also, hi, hell there, ghost god, welcome. Wait, the last flag was all the way over here? Damn, it's like a mile away from everything else. That's fine though. We can kind of speed run our way back there. We don't have to check anything. We know there's no key or no comm metal. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, the penguin probably is the comm metal. But we'll just have to keep in mind as we go on leads. And if he doesn't, we'll just have to come back for that. It's not really a shame that we have to come back. It's it's a good mod. I would be fun if we were playing the level just once and we have to just speed run and find that. Let's see. Alright, bottom booby. And this is so nice though, like the custom mods and everything, models and everything. Like that's one of those skills that I've always wanted but I'm too afraid to like look into. Modeling, right? 3D modeling is actually an insane talent. Like 2D art? Like I can scratch the surface of that. I've even been like pickling around and I, I use the word pickling in a sentence. I've been dicking around with the uh, animation, right? I, I've, I've done I've done all that stuff, but 3D modeling is just it's just another level that I, I can't even imagine. Wait, is this Sisyphus simulator? Oh wait, no, the gravity, the gravity. The gravity changes. I was like, that'd be really funny. We just had to hit the ball up the wall. Okay, this is neat though. Yeah, they're kind of they're using the snowball gimmick like more than like Mario Galaxy ever used it. There was the, like the one level where you had to like murder the Bowser statue, but that was really good. I think he still used the fire flower in that for the most part. Wait, is this one too big? Do we need a smaller one? No, no, we don't have to kill them all. Okay, off we go, off we go. This is so exciting though. And then there's the Octumba. Yeah, my question is, can I murder him with a spin? No, you can't. I did, they did remove that. That makes sense, that makes sense. Normally those guys can be spun to death. So we're gonna get the ball around the side. Go murder his little buddy. And then we're Gucci. No, go back, go back. This is literally Sisyphus though. Crazy how even with reused gimmicks, he came up with new concepts. He really did, right? I can only imagine how long it took. Actually, I don't. The mod did take forever to get this thing alive. There's the key! So that was the secret. Okay. Damn it, I was, I was really hoping that was gonna be the Commodore or something. So we still need to be on the aisle, look out for both the Commodore and maybe a secret star as well. And there's this weird block right here. Does it seem to be meaningful at all? Question mark. Oh, it is, it is a death zone. That's what that is. I don't know what to ha uh, anime hacked. Animate Luigi, he's really cool. That's that's a little unfortunate, but we'll just have to rush with that. Oh, you saw that! Well, I saw I saw the suspicious block of like, what? oh boy, I wonder what I do here. Why was I punished for exploring? Bro! I do feel there should be a checkpoint a little, a little closer. One big critic uh, is how little freedom. You are kind of channeled down like a, a path. And I, I, I kind of got punished for like exploring. But I do got, we gotta admit that like when it's really ambitious, I, I can kind of see them being like on a little path, you know? Mario Galaxy 2 also doesn't have much uh, of the open levels anyways. Yeah, this, this is more of like a combination between like Mario Galaxy and like I want to say 3D World, but 3D World doesn't really have interesting concepts, right? These concepts and gimmicks are obviously a lot more interesting like 3D World would do. So it's hard to really say. Woo! Alright. Let us go. Let us go, baby. As rocks go straight through the thing, that's not how it works. Come on, Nintendo. Come on, Nintendo. That's a Nintendo fault, not a monster. Not a fault. Alright. Let's try killing all these guys. So those guys, like, they look- I think they spawned him when I got here. I was just checking to see if they're, like, a part of anything. Alright, I'm gonna really get that break. That shrimp was that. Alright, we don't talk about 3D Land. 3D Land's fine. It just- 3D Land and 3D World are, for the most part, creatively bankrupt. 
Like, no offense to the people that like them. They're good games. Like, they're great games at what they do. They just don't have really, like, original ideas and really, like, concepts. Like, it's basically just said, what if 2D Mario is in 3D? They're just like, screw you. I grab that. And now let's get back without dying. The hidden star here is really hidden? That's way. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with that when we get there. We can do something similar where you just kind of say uh, if we missed it or not. Finally free! It's so nice to be able to take in fresh air again. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, I have nothing else which I can thank you except this flower. And there's the fire flower. Great. Fire Luigi. Now we can fire balls. Right. Doubt this is going to link to anything, but it's fun to dick around. I wonder. No. I doubt, I doubt there's anything over there. We can use the fire flower. It's fun, it's fun to play around. Ooh, what's your favorite theory channel? Definitely Game Theory, definitely Game Theory. Game Theory, like, raised me. Game Theory is one of the reasons, like, I started watching YouTube to begin with. I, not even, like, wanting to become a creator. Started watching YouTube. Like, I had a friend who, like, kind of got me into that before I even had a phone. So we even build kind of like a staircase using the fire flower. That's fair. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. Hell yeah, baby. That's fun. Okay. More fire. So it's like kind of like a fire flower house. Gotcha, gotcha. We're gonna murder the billion ghouls. Clever, clever. Oh, this is much so cool. So murdering them all gives us a pipe. Okay. Let us see, let us see. Oh my god, this place is massive! There's more! Dude, they just make really long levels and that's so respectable. Like, if I were to ever make a mod, I'd probably make shorter levels that are just... Holy shoot, because, like, I, I don't know how you just make this. You're like, yep, that's one star. That's one star. And these levels are arguably... Are, I, I don't know. I, I forget how long Mario Galaxy levels are, if you know what you're doing. Right? Playing them blind, they're always long. But, like, damn, they, they really are out. This is so cool, though. The, like, aesthetic here, the assets. It really is like Mario Galaxy like you've never seen it before. I break that. Come on, come on, we're close. I right, plant acquired. Does that take us across? Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, we could probably make the jump. But that does it for us. Holy shoot. Are you doing this lovely night or day? I'm doing fine. I got over... Okay, I, I had a really bad week. The reason I've been streaming this last few weeks is it's been one of the worst weeks for me, like, ever. I spent like probably 30 hours in a lab report, like, not lab report, lab, we still have a report after that. And like, we, we couldn't even finish, I, it was, it, it, it's an exam, I, I had a lot of things going on, I had a really long presentation I had to do. Ooh, a 20 minute presentation, it was 40 slides, we had to make that, that took forever. I, and I also have two tests, one was Thursday and I have another one coming up tomorrow, I just, I just have a lot coming up. So it's been a really busy week for me. Well, I, I got done with like the arguably worst part of everything, the, the lab. So. Come on. It's fine. Honestly, we don't need that. Ooh. Hopefully it gets better. Hopefully it gets better, because I've been really stressed out. Ooh, man. I, Lord knows I need it. All right, break that. Start. Common Metal! Yo! All right, so now we don't have to look around as much. Except for the hidden stuff. And then there's these guys over here. Great. It's kind of bullying. I didn't murder them all at one go, but we tried, we tried. Alright, will you stream Sly Cooper or Infamous? I don't really have plans for streaming either, no. Alright, store acquired. I feel like Chez, like Chez Mix? I don't, I, I don't know where Chez is. I know it's Chex Mix, but yeah. Look at this list, that's so cool, that's so fun. Alright, Grubby Gravity, store is no real property. Actually, you get the Fortnite Battle Pass? I don't know, the, the Battle Pass this season isn't like really crazy. There's no Peter Griffin. I personally haven't gotten the Battle Pass yet, but I'll probably get it later, maybe. I don't know. I haven't played this season at all. I only did Fortnite uh, Creative Mode of Parrot for that one stream on his channel. I haven't touched it since. All right, both Comet Metals acquired. And now we still gotta go find the Secret Star, wherever that is. That was a long star? 
Well, we kind of died, and there, there was only, like, one checkpoint, you know? I was trying to explore, try to be, like, clever and stuff, try to see if I didn't find anything, but, you know. Yeah, so awesome team C. Do you have a general... Okay, give us a general idea. What planet is the secret star on? So we know where to go. Stars here are a lot longer. They are longer. Ooh, but we did we did die a bit, but forcing us to require uh do the long snowball section like three times. And like one time we finished it, I was just, I was just exploring and I got punished, which is a little unfortunate. I feel like game design should be a little, a little gentler on that. Like if I backflip off a strange looking block, I should I should die. But that just me, that just me. Alright, it's by the chomp. Okay. Yeah, that, that's pretty that's pretty that's pretty hidden. I I didn't see anything by the chumps. I'll have to go take a look over that. Alright, that's sending it way too far. Come on, Luigi, you're better than this. Alright, the strategy is probably just Robo Star. Uh, I mean, Robo Snowball. Rather than spinning it across the planet. But you know, we don't really think, do we? In Super Mario 64, Glue Vines? There is, it's kind of like that. I, I, I can see that, I can see the relation. Alright. Kinda. In Mario 64, you have the snowman, you have the balls. I mean, you don't. You, there's the one star with the balls. The, but yeah, yeah, yeah I, I see the vibe. I see the vibe. Going over yonder. Oh, I didn't get that over there. Bing bong. Yeah, we, normally you'd be able to spend and kill him, but he deals damage here. That's interesting. And then do that. And snowman acquired. And there's a little carrot thing. That's cute. And, and just the extra little level of detail. Like, that, that's just fun. It's fun little things. You play that, like, that probably took, like, 15 minutes to make. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how long it takes, but, like, it just, it just adds charm to the level. Alright, it's been more fun, though. True. Let us see, let us see. Now, back and onwards. And there's a lot of little details, like the mushroom over there. I imagine the mushroom's probably a part of, like, a mushroom galaxy later on. If it's a custom asset. It may just be an unused Mario Galaxy asset. I don't know. Because Mario Galaxy is actually a few unused assets in the base game. Also, it's funny, you can see the mushroom goes all the way to the planet. Ooh. That's that's probably that's probably not intended, is it? They could maybe fix that, maybe not. I don't know. Alright, so Austin TMC said the secret star is located on Chomp Planet. There's two Chomp Planets, there's this one and the one after. So I'll have to keep an open eye. Let's see. What could it be? I had to make an animation. Yeah, because the carrot gets squished, doesn't it? It's so impressive. That's that's so much dedication. I can only imagine how hard it is to make a game if, like, this is making a mod. So this is the first chomp planet. It may not be this one. It, it's likely the other one. There's the one star bit up there, but I, I don't know if there's anything else. Yeah, we'll probably move on. I'll die if it's not. Although, if I die, I'll get a game over, so... No, no, that's exactly the optimal... Oh. Whoa, don't know if that's exactly optimal. Alright, here we go. Chomp Planet 2. Let us see. Game engine actually allow more freedom with the galaxy you get the good movement system in Luigi. That's true. You have the you have the physics thing built in. And physics is one of the hardest things to design in a video game. Well, even even 2D physics is like infinitely harder than I mean I'll be, I'll be real, like level design falls apart if you if you can't design a game well. But the Whoa, I thought this was a slope! Well then, that definitely, that definitely settles that, yeah. Uh, I fully imagined that was a slope. I did not think that was a standable object. Right, baby. Ooh, that's so cool, that's so fun! Oh, silver star. Dude, these guys, these guys are never used in the game. I mean, they're using one star, but like... And this is also a lot more fun than uh, doing them normally. Normally, they're kind of a pain in the butt to get. Now, you do have Yoshi when you get the money, but still, they're... Ooh, so this is a nice little, like, spin on the gimmick. Oh, they're Froggy. Goodbye, Froggy. That's two. Are they all being held by these guys, the Kleptodes, or is there one, like, who's different? Alright, they do have a coin. I may, I may want to grab a coin from one of the little bozos. Oh, they're Octuma. Hello, this is the robbery. I'm taking your coins. Yo, could have to be Easy, easy E in a hand-to-hand -hand fight? I have no idea who Easy E is. 
so I can't really say. But I'll be honest, probably not unless they're like really weak. <laughs> Realistic answer. Alright, so what is that up here? Is this a Silverstone? There is another planet here with a heat, no question mark coin? Fire Flower, okay. Let me go back. Okay, and now the Fire Flower is permanently spawned in. Okay, so now we're playing. I did see some ice sculptures. I assume there was a snowball I just didn't see. We need to do a battle royale. Oh, we can do a battle royale now. All right, so now we have four. There's one left. Is they a or something else? I, think, I thought I saw a Goomba statue. Ding, 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 ding. Let's see. Just one more thing somewhere lying around. Could be anything. Okay. Oh, this is kind of a big planet. There's the Goomba statue. Okay, so there is one. I thought so. I figured. I figured. So it's on this layer beyond that. So the fire flower is right there. I imagine it's probably in there. There's not many other places to hide it. So three. I was about to say, is that a fire alarm going off? No, somebody's car alarm is going off behind me. All right, that's fair. Bada buoy, star acquired. There's the secret star for that. So that's two galaxies down. Aside from the comets. Assuming there are even comets. There's Comet Metal so far, but I haven't actually gone to any comments. But the comments may unlock once you beat like every other stone. These comments are usually like little challenges added on top. Alright, how are people in the bottom of the screen? Uh, basically, if you are, I think, I think you have to be a public subscriber or something. But if you chat, you'll appear in the bottom of the screen. And then using a little link in the description, you can change your avatar using points that you get just by watching the stream. Simple as that. Alright, coins acquired, and we got a 1-up. We actually did need a 1-up. I've been doing a little bit of exploring. This mod doesn't really put, like, 1-ups in it like Mario Galaxy does. So you're gonna need coins and starters to get 1-ups. So I'm actually close to getting a game over. You're not a public subscriber and you're on the screen? Okay, so it's, it's not even public subscribers, you just kinda have to be... You just kinda chat, I guess. Alright, Grave Buster Galaxy. So this is a space-themed galaxy, kinda. Yeah, Gravity-themed? I, I don't know, man. Grab Buster? Grab Buster probably makes more sense, but yeah. Gravity check. Yeah, so this is the nice little gravity themed level. That makes sense. Welcome to the galaxy. Yeah, I think I think this is one of the ones they showed off in the first trailer, right? I this one might have a custom boss. I think. I don't know. There, there's something I saw in one of the trailers. I don't know if it's this galaxy or a galaxy that looks similar to it. But yeah, this is kind of a gimmick that could be used in like the base game. And these these blocks look so professional. Oh my god. It's crazy. You would never think this is like a fan mod. Maybe. I mean Mar Martin Nintendo's levels have kind of like a different feel to them. But still. It's actually it's kinda of, it's really cool. Alright, alright. It's giving you halo vibes. I don't even know what body it's giving me. It's I can't really hear the music as much because I don't want the music to echo through the mic. Like, from what I can hear, it's very, like, relaxing. Like, wow, dude, oh, I'm just... Oh, this mod's so cool. It's so cool. It's so cool what some people are willing to do. I, like, with this skill, with this skill, you can generally probably just, like, make some, like, games. Like, you're, you're not going to create, like, you know, the best-selling game of all time. But, like, this, this is, like... Crazy like practice for like becoming a game designer yourself. Ooh, and I, I think oh, it just it's so crazy people do this and do it for free. Like a game like this, honestly, if like let's say this was a game, they removed the Mario part from it. This would easily be worth like a ten dollar little game. Like when it's when it's done. Like obviously four galaxies. Ooh, maybe maybe not a ten dollar game, but you know. Oh, it's, in it's insane, like the amount of effort. Like you can be selling this. I run this little block spinning around, yeah. That's fun, that's so fun. Alright, we get across that. Great. And then we have to get back on the little platform to not die. That's so nice! It's like platforming back again. Alright. Good for the experience? It is interesting experience, right? I don't know. I just what are you gonna do with the experience, right? Like, once you make this, once you make, like, really cool mods, like, do you, do you stay modding forever? I mean, the modding community would appreciate it, but ultimately, like, 
Do you go work for a company? Do you do play an indie game? I don't know. With this skill, they def they're definitely talented enough to make a full indie game. Definitely. But... That, some, people don't, some people don't want to make an indie game. Some people want to stay using Mario and stuff forever, and that's fine. It just, I don't know, it's like, what do you do? What do you get all this talent for? That's always a question. It's always a fun little discussion. I didn't know that. Unlike an internship which promises experience but exploits you for money, you can show this on your portfolio. I think if you're working for like a company that wasn't Nintendo, they would think this is really cool. If you're working for Nintendo, they might be like, mm, I don't know, man, you're modding our game. I mean, Nintendo doesn't like cut ties with modders. Like, Toby Fox is famously a modder for Earthbound, and, well, you know, Nintendo's kind of worked with him publicly. He has, Toby Fox has songs in Smash Bros. Toby Fox has worked on the Pokemon series, right? So, I don't know. Obviously, modding doesn't completely tie, uh, cut ties with, like, things, but, like, it's interesting, it's interesting. Man, that's so cool, though. I, I can only imagine doing something like this. Ooh. I'm gonna- I'm gonna start with the 2D platformer, by the way. I died. Though. That's a game over. God damn it. Ooh, you don't show it to Nintendo, show it to your first company before Nintendo? Yeah, yeah, so true, right? Also, let, let's be real. Your problem- Dude, it was just a dream. If you are- uh, if you're trying to apply to Nintendo, you should probably know- there's- there's a few other things you need, like Japanese and stuff as well. Oh, I doubt- I doubt there's many people who speak only English working at Nintendo of Japan. And Nintendo of America is mostly localization and business stuff. Right. Woo. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. What does work at Retro, Retro Studios? I know Retro Studios is, uh... They're not exactly one of Nintendo's smaller studios, right? Retro requires a lot of, uh... Ooh, a lot of skill. They kind of work on... Yeah, Retro works on, like, the really big games, you know? Like, Retro's last few games they worked on... Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze is probably a simpler game than their other games. But they work on Metroid Prime, and they also worked on Mario Kart 7. And those are some, like, pretty big games for, like, Nintendo, right? It's not like, like, you're, you're working on... It's a small scale Nintendo game. I don't know. I actually, I actually completely blinked. Nintendo does make some smaller scale games every now and then. Yeah, you're not working on Famicom Detective Club, right? But, uh, you know. Yeah, Prime, Prime's considered, like, one of the greatest games known to man. If you mess it up, you're gonna be exercised from, uh, society. Just go, just go, just da damage take it. Alright. Man. This is so cool though. I, I can only imagine putting this all together. Ooh. As much as I'd love to be inspired and like try to create a cool Mario Galaxy mod, I might I might make a Mario Galaxy uh, modded level sometime again in the future. I have made one. I made it for a short back in the day. But I think I think I'd rather work on like creating my little own indie games. You know how I made like Pika game the other day? Right? I have a plan to remake Mario, uh, Super Mario Bros, uh, for a future video. And I also want to just do some custom dicking around later in the future as well. It's, it's kind of fun to make your own things, and then, like, even if you're not making games for money, making games just to see people's expressions and have people play it, you know, that's so cool. Like, I had one person who genuinely got a tropius naturally in a game. That's something I didn't even expect to be possible. But, like, I, I'm so thankful, like, I made something and people actually played it. And some people didn't like it, some people did. And, that's just, that's just, that's just a part of the learning curve, and that's half the fun. Seeing what people think. Man, I don't know, game, game is, gaming is, it's an interesting art. Having experience in 3D platform modding is best? Or making a 3D platformer, yeah. For making a 2D platformer, I don't know. Ooh. Because you can't get harder than that? Oh! Uh, I think you can probably get a little bit harder than a 3D platformer, I would say that. A 3D platformer, I don't think it's... It's not the simplest game, obviously, right? But... Ooh, the most the, the most complicated game is probably... Like an action-adventure game. Depends. It honestly depends, it depends. But like, I don't know. If I look at something like Breath of the Wild, that seems probably a bit more complicated than making Odyssey. In my opinion, in my opinion. I haven't actually worked on any of them, so... You know, <laughs> what can I say? I don't know how much harder they are to make. Alright, let's see. 
Now, Galaxy, which involves gravity, it's true. The gravity is one of the most complicated mechanics in uh, gaming. And Tino actually like goes above and beyond sometimes in their game making. Ooh. But it, it leaves like long lasting impressions. So, like, they are doing good. They're doing good. <laughs> Alright. Man. Go up there. This music's so gentle. Oh! This music's so gentle and sweet. I really need to listen to that, because I can barely hear. I can just hear like the, the tones. Like, it's, it's nice. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize I was safe. Keep going. All right, land. I have one help. I am in danger. Woo! Come on, come on. All right. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Finally, another checkpoint. Yeah, we still we have a lot of Luigi's left. We should be fine. So here we have circular planets now. Finally, we can heal. Health, my beloved. We have these little uh, funny little block thingies in the background. That's fun. So it's in the comet middle, nor the secret star. I don't know if every star uh, galaxy has a secret star. This one's a bit more linear than normal. Like yellow levels were kind of linear, but like this one's like there's not much ways to deviate off this path. I do wonder, I do wonder. I imagine it probably is a secret star. We'll just have to see. Also, this is cool. The three blocks. Not every galaxy is a secret star? Alright, well that's good to know, that's good to know. This one did seem a little bit more than normal. Alright, like that. Sit here, and go there. Man. Let's see, we have little dudes when we have this thing over here. Too much like AI? The only reason, okay, it's not, it doesn't feel like AI. The reason you think it's AI is because it looks like something familiar but different. And that, that's kind of what AI's kind of like treated us like to feel. But it's not, this is, this is kind of like insane. That, that's what makes it so crazy. This is, this was all done by people. Come on, checkpoint acquired. Checkpoint acquired! There you go. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, that damages you? That damages you? How was I supposed to know? I would generate garbage? I, I don't think AI is gonna be cre creating any games anytime soon, yeah. Mm. So at least not any good games. I think they're actually, Google's working on an AI to make games. I think it's called Genie, but I, it's, they're, not, they're not very good games right now. It is scary though. Imagine living in an era where all your games are AI generated. Like, I can, I can imagine we'll probably be an era where, like, we have AI-generated content in games. Like, maybe an AI-generated quest or something, but, like, the day games are fully AI-generated, that is, that is a terrifying thought to imagine. Ooh, or imagine, imagine they do just, like, freaking AI, uh, AI quest, or AI DLC. Oh, that's terrifying. Ooh, man. We'll just have to play out and hope. We'll just have to, as gamers, we'll just have to say that's what we don't want. And support games that are made with hard work and effort using our wallets. That's, that's really the only thing. The game uses AI, don't buy it. Or, uh, don't pay for it, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't support pirating, right? I think just not playing it's probably the better way to support it, but, you know. Some people, some people insist on playing everything, so, uh. I, I guess in that case of a game supporting a message that's, like, actually bad and removing people's jobs, then just, just maybe, just maybe pirating that might be a little different. Ooh. I mean, if AI was the one making it, it's not like people's hard work and effort are being wasted, right? A little different, you know? Talk about AI teachers in schools. I'm gonna be honest. What am I, I mean... I've heard about robot teachers being like a thing that like they've tried to like implement before. Don't know how AI teachers are going to really be functionally different. Ooh. I think a real person is probably better for that connection. And like actually being able to ask like questions and stuff of value. And being able to give you correct information, but like... Knowing the government, they can have a teacher that can grade everything instantly, really fast. And uh, always big around. We didn't find the comment at Ooh. 
Oh no. Shoot. We didn't find the comet medal. I don't think there's a secret star though. So that means we just have to go back for just another reason? Uh, I mean, that's fine, it's fine. Damn, why is that the first one where we didn't find it? Where was it? Thank you for playing? Yeah, I appreciate it. Let's see, in my opinion, Hacks is the most underrated streamer. So true, bestie. Oh, this is the world map. We just don't have access to the world map, that's funny. Ooh. Damn it, I don't remember the comment one. You don't remember either? Yeah, it's probably not very memorable. Indie devs recently make better games. It really depends on the indie game. This, this is something a lot of people are like, indie games are so good, right? Something I think a lot of people forget is that 99% of indie games are garbage. We, we gotta keep that in mind. That's something we do need to keep in mind, like, like, like realistically speaking. The indie games people talk about, it's like the top like 1%. The top 1% of indie games. Ooh. So triple A, there, there, there's room for both triple A devs and gay, uh, which you call it? Yeah, there's a room for both. There's a room for both, definitely, definitely. What? It's timer? Clones? I have to find freaking red coins? Okay, but it is the first comment. We have a custom a little theme for this. That's cool. Pizza Tower's in the top. Pizza Tower had a lot of different. Pizza Tower is a crazy game. Oh, it's only one clone. Oh, no, but it's more than one clone. Never mind. Ooh. Nice. Go! 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 Thank you, Luigi. Right, so there's still seven more left. Right, so the fire flowers now spawn. You can find all these red coins. Eight is a lot. Okay, never mind. Eight is not that much, because we found a lot of it. Okay, never mind. It's not that much. Once we get the fire flower, we, we unlock a lot. I imagine there's one in that little snowy Goomba. There's one here. Five. Let's see. How are you guys doing? We're doing great, Francis. Thanks for asking. Okay, so there's one more over here. I imagine. No, there isn't. That was bait. Okay, let's go back. Can I break these? No, we can't. I figured. I thought I would just check. It is a lot clicks four in 30 seconds. Yeah, we just didn't have any at the point. I didn't, I didn't realize they would go by so quickly. That's coins. And there's like three ice Goomba statues here. We have a minute left though. It's a little, little, little tight. All right, come on, come on. One minute left. Three ice Goombas. No coin. Six. Okay, there's still two left. That's scary. There's one here, there's probably seven. Okay, and there's the last one. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. We the, the timer's pretty strict. The clones are a little scary, but that's not actually that bad. Capture card dying? Oops. All right, let me fix that, let me fix that. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't know why the capture card's been having, it's really bad today. Like sometimes we could do like the four hour Kaiser streams and we don't really have any issues sometimes, but sometimes we do. Honestly, the, ugh, I really need a new capture card. I just, it's a lot of money. Oh, and I'm also a bit worried because if I do any other capture card. See, the capture card I use, I'm lucky. The HD Capture 60S that I'm using, it doesn't actually use any of the computer resources. The more modern capture cards, they're a little better, but they actually use the computer resources, so it's instant. So it's a little, little tricky. It's a little annoying, you know? Okay, stream should look better now, though. Ah, it's tough. I do know I need eventually a better capture card, but like, I need a better computer as well. I need, everything just has to be better. Streaming is an expensive hobby to have everything be perfect forever. Whew, all right, well then. The little screen lag should be gone. The capture card should no longer be dying. All right, star acquired. So we still need to find the comp metal on that Grav Island, uh, the Grav Blaster Galaxy. And then there's going to be one more. Thank you for playing, no problem. Actually, got a Wii? Yeah, we're on, we're on a Wii. Well, actually, this is technically a Wii U, but I do have a Wii as well, yeah. Also, I kind of like this, like, being here, like, in a city. I don't know, it's kind of fun. Mario, Mario generally has, like, a fantasy vibe for a lot of the game. 
But the city, the city is still like a thing that exists in Mario, so it's interesting. Yeah, so that doesn't have a secret star. It is just a common middle. All right, we'll come back. We'll look first. Let's see. Hmm. You mentioned shorts wars in the boss, and that happened. Imagine that. Streamers drop out of college because it's too expensive and proceed to spend thousands on their equipment that makes their voice sound 1% better. So true. I know. I was asking Pear. I was like, yo, Pear. Uh, I'm, I need to get a new mic. How much is your mic? And he was like, I don't think you want to know. i like, how much is it? $750. I'm like, Jesus Christ. So yeah. I like, the, the mic sounds better. It, it does sound better than his old mic. Like, I feel like 90% of people don't even notice the difference. But you know, obviously when you have the money, it's your job. You should like, obviously be doing your very best. But like, kind of just funny. A little funny situation. Ooh, I don't know. I need to, my mic is kind of like breaking sometimes. It, it's getting a little old. But I don't know what I would upgrade to. Would you prefer drums, guitar, or keyboard? I think keyboard would be very interesting to learn. That is, I would be down for learning keyboard. Plus keyboard and, I don't, this, this sounds weird, but keyboard and guitar are very similar and like the amount of music they can play. Now drums ultimately are percussion. You're gonna be limited with what you can do with that, right? But guitar and keyboard can play basically everything, just from uh, the way they're set up. Now, the actual instrument I played back when I was in high school, I played uh, the trombone, which is a bass instrument, right? So there, there's a lot, it's a limit on what it can do, but it was a fun instrument. It's one of the few instruments that uh, can play like truly all the notes. Because most other things, you're, you're limited to strings, uh, I can't wait, strings, keys, all that stuff. Right, but since the trombone is a slide, you can play every note between every note. Truly the perfect instrument. Except for the fact that, like, it's really low. It was fun. It's a fun instrument. Right, stay there. Or don't stay there! Okay. You can set a Kickstarter for your content? I'd rather, I'd rather not, uh, know people for money. If I'm gonna get money, I want people to willingly do it. Or, uh, you know, or get it from ads. I am perfectly fine with milking ads. Advertisers, please give me your money. I would, I would do it. Like, I'm gonna be honest, if I could get a sponsorship, I would, I would take a sponsorship. A lot of people are like, we're sponsorship selling out. Dude, if selling out means getting $3,000 that I can spend on content, that, that's a fair, that's a fair deal, you know? Like, if I can make the capture card better, the mic better, and all that stuff, that's a deal, that's a deal. It's not really a bad thing, you know? And Paris said that if I got big enough, he would, he would, uh, talk to the Block Blast people and see if he could get me something Block Blast, you know? I can play P3 Reload? That's fun. I've heard good things about it. I haven't gotten around to it yet because it's, first off, really long. I don't have much time right now. I'm still playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And then, ooh, it's also 70 bucks. Ooh, I don't really have 70 bucks to spend right now as well. Right. Well, it was a nice little idea checking behind there. It's a good idea. That is something I need to keep in mind. It's, level, it's a 3D level ultimate. Secrets could be on any side. Yo, sponsorship shorts wars? Dude, if I can get sponsored by, uh, no, uh, I was about to say NordVPN. Uh, <laughs> NordVPN, yeah. If I can get sponsored by the boss, real. Man. All right, so where is this secret store? I mean, a comment metal. There's that. One up acquired. Hmm. I'm trying to walk, I'm trying to look. I was looking at chat. I just died. Uh, I just looked back. God damn it. What do you mean you don't got $70? Well, here's the deal. Okay. I'll be real. I do have $70. Just not to spend right now. I need to save up. I've I spent too much money uh, recently and I need to like save up money. Because I need to spend money on the editor, which I haven't gotten a video in a while. Because I've been really busy. I need to spend money on, like, valuable stuff. I, I'm not in a place where I can spend money on games right now. If I was a full-time content creator, maybe it'd be a little different. But I, I'm not making a lot of money, right? I don't, have, I don't have a large income. So I gotta be wise. I still have, like, other things I need to worry about. And my biggest thing is when I get out of college. I need to have a place to live. I need to buy food. I need to, I need to not starve, so... Unfortunately, games are not meals. You cannot eat games. And also, Persona 3 Reload, as cool as a uh, game it would be to play, right? I can't really uh, 
totally a game that I can kind of stream. I tried streaming Persona 5, and it just it just didn't go too well. My audience just doesn't like RPGs that much. At least like traditional RPGs. Like Pokemon kind of makes sense. Pokemon's kind of like an easy game to stream. There's a, there's a lot of like things you can involve your chat in with Pokemon stuff. Like Persona 5, it's like they either care or they don't. Oh, what a want. Persona 3 will work at trust. Imagine. I still haven't seen that secret star. I mean, uh, Comet Metal. Shoot. Kind of annoying. Comet Metals, I don't know. I like the idea of Comet Metals because they reward exploration, right? But... I mean, you have to replay the entire level for, like, one tiny insignificant item. That can get really annoying really quickly. Let's see. We can break these. What if the comet is like above this area? Hold on, hold on, fall back down. No, it's not. Well, we tried. Oh, holy shoot, holy shoot, we're falling down to the abyss. Oh, I, I can't really go back. The blocks don't come back. Oh, well. Damn it. Let's see, let's see. Woo. How are you, Hunt? I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine. Having a better week than I normally... I mean, I was having a really bad week, but... For the most part, the bad stuff is ending. It's getting near over, so I, I, I just gotta... I just gotta survive. This weekend will be Good Friday. So it's a three-day weekend. That's fun. I'll be going home for the weekend. Visiting my family again, which is really cool. Because I, I, I literally just went home for, like, spring break the other week. So it, it's nice to have stuff like that. It's good to be free from school. School school has been so stressful. This has been my worst semester I've ever had. It has been really bad. Oh, if anyone ever tells you school gets better, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But it really, it really doesn't. It does not get better. I will be honest. It really doesn't. Ooh. Imagine Raid Shadow Legends. Well, if Raid Shadow Legends like act, we'll pay you a thousand dollars to do a stream of her game. You know, I like as mean Don as Raid is. Uh, I'd be stupid not to take that, right? Ooh. I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird because if you do like a Raid stream, you'd be like, "Oh, you're selling out." Yes, yes, I am. But like. You'd also be stupid not to, right? I oh, know, it's tough. Sponsorships are a weird conversation. Because some people get, like, really offended that some people are trying to pay the bills, you know? Alright. Kind of tough. It, it's kind of weird. Woo! I'm gonna get over trying to find this freaking comet metal. I, I don't know where to look. I don't know where to look. It's probably in the last section. We could ultimately get the uh, go to the last galaxy, find that, and then come back to this. I feel like finding the Commodore is not as interesting. We can go come back for that, but we need the Commodore to go to the uh, comments. Damn, damn, damn. Super annoying. Why? Why do you hide the Commodore so hidden? The other Commodores weren't that bad. There's the one behind the NPC, which was kind of clever. There was the other one, which uh, I don't even remember whether the one was in the ice level was. We just kind of got it. But this galaxy, just it's just not on the beaten path. Stop! And there's a game over. God damn it. I'm trying. I, I should just blow up the mines. I'm trying. I'm just. The, the mines hitbox are gigantic. We have enough star bits. It's not an issue. It's literally on me. Come on. Movie, movie, Luigi. Don't know why there's such like a little load, uh, long load time there. It's kind of odd. Alright. Woo! Yeah, let's go to the other galaxy. Let's go to the other galaxy for a little break. We'll come back to the comet in a moment. Let's see, Haunty Highway. Interesting. So it's like Haunty Halls, but it's a highway. Interesting, interesting. Walk down the Haunty Highway. So true. Let us see. Man, everybody rec uh, recommending Clone VPN. Too bad Clone VPN only uh, picks uh, people who actually make shorts. And also people who make shorts, like, decently often. With, like, a good, like, ratio. I don't know. 
this block. Oh, there's more NPCs. I think levels in the PCs are more fun than levels without them. Bieber. He's so cool. Or spooky here. What does Bieber mean? Well, what is that? Hey, yo. It is. It hurts. It's a hurting creature. Let's see. You have to say, little man. I think somebody else, these gas pumps must be broken. You don't even have a car, little man. What about you? Where are the staff gone? To the bathroom? Question mark. Blocks back here. Is that that's the first one up? Wow. Yeah, they really did not want to hide one ups in this new galaxy. I can kind of understand they might see that's too easy, but it's kind of a mod you're playing for the experience, you know. Alright. And that just spawns all that. That's fun. And they had a little uh, animation where they like squeeze in. That's fun, that's fun. Yeah, the aesthetic here is really nice. How do I how do I swing it onto that? It's like I need more momentum or do a leap of faith. Let's see. Ooh, a little, little close, a little close, but that's fine. Okay. Comet metal question mark? Trash can! Floating trash can? Do I, is that an enemy? What does that do? Alright, can I ground pound on it? I think you can, because you can ground pound on the, uh, the trash can in the previous galaxy, right? Maybe. Is this still the Odyssey mod or the Kaizo? This is not Kaizo. Imagine that. Kaizo doesn't. Kaizo is. Kaizo is very different. Very differently kind of mod. That's also one of them. Kaizo is more just all level edits. Well, well, level edits means you can get a lot more content out of the mod. Like, they can have every galaxy in the game. Other than, like, four galaxies. Obviously, it's just not as interesting. Ooh, just, it's not as interesting, because, like, this is, this is just a crazy. So what does this guy say? Spin? Oh, shake the remote to get the block cell away from you. Kind of. Alright, block acquired. Hmm. And now we wait. Yes, yeah, so this is where we have the haunty part, because it's like haunty halls. Haunty halls are the same, like, set of enemies. Oh, oh! Whoa, that was close! Alright, finally boots. One, two, three. One, two, three, I said. I launched her acquired. No comet metal yet. I don't know if there's a secret star in this one as well. I have the comet metals at the gas station to start? No! Does this have a secret star? Does this have a secret star question mark? Well, at least now that we know, we can like kind of uh, be a little less explorative, explorative of the level. Oh, God damn it. Comet middles at the start. That's fine. Ooh. Well, we'll figure out if the secret star is here or not. If there isn't a secret star, we'll have to replay the level anyways. So it's not really too much of a big deal. I jump across that. There's a little enemy spawner right there. That's kind of fun. I kind of want to test that. Optional chance to get some bullets as well. Oh, this is different. Okay. Not just some enemy spawner. Not a surprise. Not a surprise. They made their own little thing. So if I collect all the coins... One up. A singular one up after all that. I don't know if that's really worth, but whatever, you know? We take, we take. Alright. Question what makes the mod different? These are four galaxies that are not from Mario Galaxy. If you haven't played the game, you, you wouldn't know that. And it would be hard to tell because these galaxies look really close like galaxies you'd see in the game. Kinda. It's, it's got like a different art style. Like, obviously, like. I think, like, Mario Galaxy, like, models are a little, probably a bit more saturated. But, uh, they're, they're really high effort, uh, mod. Oh! Alright, 
All the black. Launch star acquired. I get up there, I get up there. Woo! Alright, hell yeah, hell yeah. So what is this last area? Oh, there is, there is! It's a coin luma star. I have 45 points. Ooh! Oh, so the luma is there, okay. So this is the secret star, all right. It's a little area that we did for the little optional thing. That wasn't just the one up, that, that led us to the secret star. So we can get the secret star first, and then come back and get the actual star when we get the common up. That works out. Okay, great, great. Is this a boss? This looks like a boss arena. Hey, yo. Oh, it's Bouldergeist. He's red, though. He's red. Okay, so not a custom boss, still an old boss, but... He's a uh, slightly different color. He's got a red, oh, red tint to him. I, I fell off. <laughs> Great. Love to see it. Well, that's neat. That's neat. I understand making custom bosses extremely hard. That is one thing the community still would probably, I mean, even, even if it was easier, even if it was easier, making custom bosses is incredibly difficult. It's, it's not just like simple programming and all that stuff. It is, oh, there, there's a lot that goes into making a boss. But at least they made him red. He's different. He's not Bowler Geist, he's, uh, he's a rock ghost. Alright, well then, let's, let's actually like take him seriously. He's not gonna read chatter, they're gonna focus on beating his butt. Let's get the boo spawned by going for the damage. No, I grabbed both boos! Well, that's unfortunate. I don't know if both the boos stack or not. Alright, Bowler Geist is fun though. Definitely one of the more interesting bosses from Mario Galaxy. Because a lot of the bosses in Mario Galaxy usually spam like one attack back and forth. Aside from Bowser and Boulder Geist. And Bowser makes sense because he's the like main antagonist of the game. But Boulder Geist is surprisingly confident. He has two very distinct phases. Man, honestly, if I was ranking all the bosses in Mario, I'd definitely put Boulder Geist like in the top. Top five. I and mean, we're talking about like Mario like platformers, right? Yeah, top five, maybe top three. And the other, like, the, the others would probably be the Bowser fights. Oh, because only Boulder Geist has a strange amount of effort put in him. He's not even like a required boss. Remember when I first played Mario Galaxy? I actually fought Boulder Geist in the post game. Because uh, I got stuck in haunting halls because I was really bad for the game. Oh, come on, come on, booze. Alright, one hit on his body. Still two more health left. I wonder if we'll get a Mario Galaxy 3. I don't think we'll ever get a Mario Galaxy 3. Getting a Mario Galaxy 3 is basically as likely as getting a... I couldn't see that! It was blocked with the rocks that's on me. Well, getting a Mario Galaxy 3 is basically the equivalent of getting a Sunshine 2 or a 64 2, right? Like, it's, it's actually... I would say it's more unlikely to get a Galaxy 3 than it is to get either of those two. Like, everybody's like, Ooh, we got a Galaxy 1 and 2. Where's Galaxy 3? But, like, keep in mind. Not a single other Mario 3D platformer got a sequel, right? May you can maybe say 3D Land and 3D World, but they're more of spiritual successors rather than direct sequels. I don't know, I really I don't know how you like classify them. They're related, but not really. Not, not like directly like Galaxy 1 and Galaxy 2 1, so. Nintendo doesn't really like doing direct sequels unless they have like ideas left over. Now a game that might get something is like Wonder, right? But, because I know Mario has a lot of ideas that were unused in Alright, there we go. Phase complete. We had enough of delay for it to, like, leave the boss intact. Alright, it's too great. Wasn't Mario 64 2 a concept for 64 DD? They came up with it, but the DD failed, and they just kind of abandoned their ideas. I believe, right? I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't be 100% certain. Plus, the 64 days were a long, long time ago, so... Ooh, man. At least, at least modern, right? Now, there, there's a chance we need an Odyssey too, right? Because Odyssey was the most recent game. But I doubt Nintendo would make a sequel to a, like their Wii games from back in the day. I don't know if Nintendo's as fond over Galaxy 2 as well. They seem to really like Galaxy. Like, Galaxy was in 3D also and everything, but... Well, Galaxy 2 kind of gets the short end of the stick as in like, the representation and everything. Like, Lubba, Lubba doesn't really appear in like, Mario media very often. Galaxy, Galaxy 2 just isn't re references often. Yeah, it's just not Nintendo's favorite in, like... That's just, just pure guess, just, just from the way Nintendo plays it. It's like their, their least favorite song. 
Sunshine is the only game that did not have a direct sequel? I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. That's... 64, just because they were thinking of it, they were kind of just thinking of, like, things to do for the disc drive. And because it was cancelled, I imagine, I imagine maybe there was, like, some other things that we didn't get because they were cancelled. Nintendo cancels games all the time. This is something a lot of people don't realize. Ooh, a lot of, a lot of concepts are in, like, unused ideas. They, oh! Let go! A lot of unused prototypes and everything. God damn it. Stupid. I, I, I grabbed the thing, and then it goes under you. This is actually surprisingly hard. Believe it or not. So when little rock things are in the way, you can't see the holes. When you grab the bomb moves, you can't, uh, you can't escape the holes as well. You think after side order, they can make a force platoon? I think we'll get a force platoon on the Switch 2, or whatever the Switch sequel is, right? Splatoon has, like, a really dedicated fan base, right? So Nintendo definitely wants to bring that over to the new hardware whenever that happens. Like, Splatoon fans really like Splatoon. Even though Splatoon doesn't really get- Oh! That's on me. Even though Splatoon fans really don't get, like, massive changes between their games. Splatoon 3 is still kind of like just Splatoon 1, but better, kind of. Ooh, so we're almost certainly gonna get Splatoon 4. There, there's absolutely no reason they're gonna work with Splatoon 3 anymore. Uh, can you be narrow when she isn't here? No. Alright, you can't see a sequel to Sunshine? There's not really a reason to do a sequel to Sunshine. Like, Nintendo, I, if, if they want a spiritual, like, sequel to Sunshine, you just kind of throw in, like, an, a level that's, like, Isle Delphino themed later on. Like, there's, there's a lot they can do with Isle Delphino. And Isle Delphino appears in spin-offs all the time. Isle Delphino is probably one of the most read, like, visited places, like, in all the Mario series. Ooh. So, like, that's really all they need for, like, a spiritual successor. It's like, hey, it's Odyssey, but we visit an area of Isle Delphino we didn't visit originally. Simple as that. You know? Or even Galaxy 2 at Starshine Beach, which is like a reference to like Sunshine, you know, Starshine, Sunshine. Simple as that. Oh, glitchy. Oh, my goodness gracious. I don't know why the capture card's been so bad today. Apologies for that. Apologies for that. There's not much I can really do about it. Ooh, it is a beyond my skill level to like toggle the capture card to be better. You know, it, it, just, it, just, it just randomly decides I'm not going to work anymore. Kind of getting bad though. Kind of getting bad. Hopefully it doesn't do it on like any important streams. All right. Wait, did I die? Oh wait, no, it's just phase two. I'm like, I wait, why is he doing the intro cutscene? Do we die? No, no, it's phase two. Okay, really, really. Okay, so we just gotta kill the boss. Scrimple is that. And he's also spawning these coins. We don't need the coins. Every time we die, it's because we fall off. One hit on the boss, two hits on the boss. All right. One more hit in the main body, then it should be Gucci. Hell yeah, hell yeah, love to see it, love to see it. Looking pretty good. Nice summoning rocks, bong boos. One bong boo. It's fine. No, he killed the other bong boo! You murdered your son! Bordergeist! Stupid boss, what a, what a good boss. I think he's a punch. He breaks all of his rock pillars he put up. Or she? Bordergeist woman, confirm. Bordergeist dating simulator reference. Oh, 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 that was so close, I could have died. I got this. And Bordergeist completed. Why oh, does it look like his His son was defective anyways? Just because he blows up doesn't mean he's defective. Okay, so the star doesn't actually spawn from the boss death animation. The star gets triggered, that's a little... A little anticlimactic. That's kind of funny, you murder the boss, it's like... boop a doo doop a doo doop boop I, okay. Very cool, cool. Ooh. That could probably make the little, uh, cutscene a little bit more... Like the action game, right? But, whatever. It works out, it works out. It's a secret star anyways. Thank you for playing. Alright. So there's one more star we can get there, the normal star. And we can also grab the commental while we're going down for that. So the commentals on the first level with the gas station, so we just gotta know that. I'm pretty sure you can make it not play that sound. You probably can. Almost certainly. There's there's some sort of case in that. I would, I would think you would just like copy like the border guys fight over, right? From the base game and see what that does. Because that summons a split star and that doesn't play the sound. Most bosses don't play that sound when you kill them. That's not exactly the boss death sound. Okay. 
So there is a little dude standing on top of the roof. I didn't even like stop to consider that. They even put this shadow here, like, so you can get up there. Dude, I'm such an idiot. Yeah, you can't get up here. So what do you say? Okay, that just put the ghost away from me. Okay. So this little puzzle. That is cute. A little stashed away. Alright. The comet will do anything in this mod? Yes. Comet still exists in this mod. We've already done a comet. Come on, come back. Ooh. But yeah, comet medals are for summoning comets. Alright. In order to get all of them, we're probably gonna need all the comet medals. That's usually how it works in these mods. Oh, this one these ones in the air are actually tricky. Shoot, this is actually tricky. What the frick? There we go, one more. Final one. Hacks up to this? I kinda do, don't I? Alright, spin. There we go. Luma spawned. Then he should be able to give us our little thing that we deserve. Oh there, buddy. Why did he turn blue? I'm blue, bada be bada bye. Right, well, we got what we needed, now we can leave. And we can kind of speed within the rest of the galaxy, saving us some time. So we'll have to go looking around for anything. Now, getting the last comet is going to be a pain in the butt, but a comet might spawn between us getting that, so we, we don't need to go directly to uh, Comet Hunting. Save us a little time. Alright, thing worked. Go over yonder. Now, this is a very late neat galaxy, though. Ooh, he's cured. What do you mean? Are you saying he's cured because he's no longer yellow? What's wrong with being yellow? Come on. That was what most normal Lumas look like. I think he whacked. Alright, we got this. We got this. Racist. I know, right? He's not a cure. He's just different. Man. Imagine they turned him all Luigi red and they're like, oh, he's cured. Well, imagine what Luigi would think about that. Are, they, are these bomb boos inferior because they're not white like the other boos? Come on. Can't have that, can we? Alright, let's see. So we're gonna make it across here. Doesn't look too shabby. I mean, too bad. Shrimp is that. Oh yeah, yeah this, this section's easy. We don't, have to have, uh, we don't have to go through the little enemy spawner as well. Save ourselves some time where we don't have to click all 50 coins or whatever. Woo! Thank goodness we went through it the first one. We got the uh, secret star out of the way. Secret star can always be a pain. Thankfully it wasn't too like hard to find. I mean, they just made it like tricky with a little uh, tricky boss fight. And that's funny. Vortigrass is usually considered like one of the harder bosses in the game. Ooh. But normally he's not bad like in the actual base game. Unless you like suck at the blah the daredevil fight. Which some people do. Like, it's fine if you suck at the daredevil blah for Boulder guys. A lot of people do, right? Ooh, but man, some people treat Boulder guys like he's like the hardest thing, like game to man. It's really funny. So actually fighting a Boulder guys that's like actually tricky is kind of fun. Alright, let's see, let's see. Imagine your diet consisting of roads. Imagine that. Very tasty. I mean, I wonder, these guys are like matter munches, right? Like, technically you would think they could eat any matter, but does that even matter? Oh, oh my goodness, oh no, heck, you didn't just see that, no. All right, so we need to collect all the star chips over there. Star chips in my good Mario Galaxy mod? It's more likely than you think. Right, don't fall down. Start your time. No, I missed it. No, it's leaving me. One. Two. Three. I think we none are hidden, we just have to get them done. Four. Final star chip acquired. So these are these supposed to be like a variant of like a dry bone or something? No, I died? What? 
You're kidding me. Bro. I grabbed the pool star. I thought I, I thought we'd be fine. Why is the death barrier so low? You're kidding me. Why is the death barrier so low to the ground? You just, you just instantly die as soon as you like fall out of the radius. Ooh, eight. That's such a close death area. Like I grabbed the pool star. I'm like, oh, we'll be fine. Oh, no, we're not. That's, that's not very fun. It's not the first time they had the really close death barrier as well. In the like snow area, we died because we jumped off a block. Oh, because jumping up on the weird on the block that stands out from the area, we're not supposed to jump up and interact with that, are we? Grab that. Ooh. Grab that four and then five. I know we'll do that this time, and we'll just we'll stand on the platform when we do it. It's fine. And clearly the intended way. Let's see. So I don't know what happened to the CBSMP. It ended. For the most part, a lot of the bigger creators didn't have the time to commit to do what they wanted on it. Specifically, like Johnny Razor, C Light, like Dano. They, they, they weren't getting what they wanted out of the server, right? They wanted to do more with it, they just didn't have time. So the server just kind of ended. Simple as that. And it's unfortunate. But alas, if they weren't doing what they wanted, ultimately they're one of the biggest reasons people were even wanting the server right? So what they say happens. And we still got to do a little bit after that. We still got to have like a proper ending for the others, but it's unfortunate it ended. Alright, let's see. This is cool. Cool little road. They have little things inside the road to like guide you. So you're like not like stuck. Or lost, I guess. What do these cars do? Are they just switches? Yeah, yeah, they open up a little arm. Okay. That's cute. Dash Pepper and Glow Peppers, they don't stack, do they? They do? What? I didn't know that. That is an unused feature. Wait, do all the peppers stack or is it only used to? That's really interesting. Like, can you get like Glow Pepper and like Glowberry as well? Oh, I did not realize the card takes damage. Most Minecraft SMPs are destined in within a month. Perhaps per chance. That's fine, there might be a season two later on. There might be some different people. Hopefully I make it back in. Pear told me that they liked me, so maybe, maybe? We'll see, we'll see though. Like what's the best mac and cheese? I think like, probably like with the shells. Yeah, I think like the Velveeta shells are really fun. And I think mac and cheese has like bread or like bacon bits inside it. Both of them were like fun options. Yeah. Yeah, I had no idea berries could uh, stack. This is not something I've ever seen in another mod. I've never seen it. Uh, obviously, it doesn't happen in the base game. Nice. I assume flow and spicy don't... Yeah, yeah, I would imagine those don't uh, stack together for, like... I mean, for, like, movement options, like, they, they really they can't stack, can they? But it's neat to think that, like, berries can even stack at all. Because I, I thought, like, the berry was, like, a state. You know? And then you, you just have one of the different states. Shoot, that's kind of tight. Without the, yeah, we have to go back and get both of those. You're dead? Yeah, I was not gonna make it. Oh, yo, pear dropped by. Yo, what is a pear? Howdy. Welcome to Stream Bro Chacho. Alright, neat concept though. Neat concept. Combining the two berries together. Yeah, I, I was not gonna make it out of that though. So you need to have like a berry with a lot of timing. Like, basically, this is just like kind of a speedrunning level. To an extent. Gotta make use of our timing to the very best. At least until we grab the next berry. I could infinite flutter. Wait! I could have just infinite fluttered! And it's fine, honestly. It's probably better to play the level the way it was intended, anyways. It's more interesting that way. Alright, on the moods. We go around town. We have little white sticks showing us where to go. Oh, yeah. And then don't stop for that. That was my issue last time. I was walking normally this way, rather than uh, doing that. Okay. Yoshi's Infinite Flutter it is. Oh no. All right, we're gonna Infinite Flutter back, it's fine. You missed a spicy berry last time? Yeah, I think you have to jump. Uh, we're making progress, we're making progress. Infinite Flutter is slow. That's fine, we will not die. 
You missed it this time? I did as well. Alright. How far away is the glow pepper? Honestly, it's probably just, it's just probably better to die. Yeah, please, yeah, it's gonna take too long. Ooh, that is not the way. Okay, so we missed the spicy pepper. We need to turn around and go back and get the glow pepper. Simple as that, simple as that. Simple as that. It's gonna be quicker to die? Yeah, it would be. Ooh, yeah, me exploiting the glitch for no reason. Being like, oh boy, look at this fun gameplay. Proceeding not to interact with the fun level that was assigned to us. Alright, back we go, back we go. It is a neat gimmick, though. Oh! Wait! Huh? Huh? What? It's just invisible? It's still there? That is not how the glowberry works, but okay. Um. Excuse me? What? That's weird. I right, start player. Was that a bug? Or I, I thought that was that was really weird. Was that was Maybe that's an oversight where the model just turns up? Because that's a custom model, right? I don't know if that's just like a bug with the model or something. That's weird though. Very strange. Three comet medals, still one more comet. A comet's probably gonna spawn. No, there's not a comet in that galaxy. Okay, I can confirm that. Yeah, comet is spawning, okay. And Spin City, gotcha. And there's one medal left. Game has been saved. That is all four galaxies visited. Just a little bit left to do. Maybe that's why they don't mix the glowberry and spice? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, so this one still has the comet. Medal. And then this one has the comet. Woo. It said thank you for playing. Did it say that every time? Yes, it says that after every single star, yeah. Purple coins underneath the construction. Alright. What is your next short? I do not have a short in production at all right now. I don't have one started. I've been really busy and I have a long form video I gotta work on. Ooh, I have a, my long form video is almost done. Like I have all the base editing done. I have to just do like the uh, the editing on top of it. I, I just haven't gotten around to doing that because I've been really busy. It's been, I've, I've, I've had my most busy week uh, this last week. It's been so bad. Ooh. But after my test tomorrow, I should be semi-free for a bit. God, I, I hate college so much. College is, college is literally hell. One of these days, one of these days I'll be out of college. But then I'll be out of job, which could be potentially worse. Potentially. Alright, 24. Red star. Oh, we have to use the red star. Ooh, that's gonna be a little annoying. It's fine though, we'll deal with that as we go. Eight hour work days? That's what I'm afraid of. I spent like nine hours in the lab. I'm like, oh god. Well, okay. On the bright side, my work days shouldn't be on weekends. Like in school, you're working on weekends, and when you're in uh work, your work also shouldn't call you. If your job asks you to do stuff when you get home, that's probably a bad job. Like it's like, oh, you got home? Well, uh, you need to go work on your wings and everything. It's like, no, home time is for your family. And uh free time. Oh my god, this guy's just camping here! Holy shoot! Oh my god, he's just camping! Eight hour work days just to live? That's my fear. That's one of the coolest things about if you can become a content- it's, it's, it's hard to become a content creator, but if you can become it, it's something where you get to pick your own schedule. That's something I have like dreams about. Or just become your own boss, right? Or maybe you can become an entrepreneur. And just make a lot of money. And if you make a lot of money, you can just retire early. Oh, but we kind of live in a system right now where becoming an entrepreneur is near impossible without money already. Wow, so the rich get richer and the poor people. Well, if you don't have enough money to become an entrepreneur, you have to reach out to somebody else to help you. And then they take a chunk of the money. Wow. Morgan, never truly done when you have your own schedule. It depends on how you want to think about it, but yeah. I mean, see, if you're overwhelmed and you have your own schedule, you're going to say, I'm done for now. 
But of course, since you're the one determining how much work you do in the future, it's not like you'll ever be free. It, it, it's, 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 uh, it's tough, it's tough. Do you know how to slow down the uh, red comics? You can hold uh, Z to slow down, right? I don't know, I don't use the red star very often. I can't say. I'll have to like grab and test around. Wait, no, is it? Yeah, it's like that, yeah. Okay, A and B, A and B. Alright, so there's timers there in case we need it. There's a bunch in the air, that's a little scary. Alright, one there. Only one after all that? The amp is really aggressive there. Okay, and there's a lot of comment, uh, a lot of purple points just in the air. Which makes sense. Like, I believe spinning pulls purple coins towards you. No. I thought that, that's how it was in, uh... The one star. <laughs> no, I just took so much damage. Okay. I can go back and get the Prana Plants to help me, but yeah. That is, that is a lot of damage. Turn around the camera, please. Thank you. Oh, God. Ah, that's actually, that's actually kind of stupid with a thingy. Trying to, like, actually grab those. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Alright, maybe it's better to get the ones in the air first. Because those ones are actually way harder than the ones in the ground. For obvious reasons, obvious reasons. Where well, it makes sense, the purple coins are usually, I mean not purple coins, comets are usually supposed to be a lot harder than the regular stars, but like, oh man, we, we go from collecting 8 red coins to collecting 100 purple coins. Purple coins are really dangerous to collect. Alright, we're gonna leave these enemies here to uh, not avoid damage. I mean, what am I saying to heal myself when I take damage? So I can like, crash into things without any punishment. Alright, we'll come back, we'll come back. We can grab a little timer here, help us out a little bit. Yeah. So we'll get this one here underneath this guy. One coin acquired, 25 done, that's a quarter of them. Unfortunately, we got the easiest quarter. So these over here are a little tricky. Alright. Either eight. Stop, grab that. Okay, we just have to use the, st uh, the starting stop a lot. That's fine, we can do that. Open that. Woo! 30 acquired! Three minutes left. Three minutes left, baby. Keep grabbing that. One more. Final one acquired. Okay. Are there any inside these blocks? There are! Oh, we'll never be free! Okay. You don't instantly die with a redstone. That's good, that's good. You can save yourself. Thank goodness. Okay, great. Grab. Grab. Oh, you're kidding me! Let's give it like that, capture card glitching? Hold on, hold on, let me, let me. Grab the coin first. Oh, why is it glitching though? Why does it do this? You're killing me! I, I wish we had a simple answer. Oh my god, I do need to buy a new capture card. Ooh. It's fine, it's fine. Well, I can buy a new character card. I can. It's fine. It's one of those things we just have to deal with. And this is going to be a reoccurring problem, like, this bad. Like, we, ha we haven't even streamed for two hours yet. We're almost to the two-hour mark. I think it's just going to die one day. Yeah. Plus, if I do get a new capture card, there's some, there's some perks of getting a new capture card. I can get one with no delay. That's really the only thing. My capture card already does 1080p, 60 FPS. So it's not like I'm in a bad problem. Ah, uh, just annoying. A lot, of, a lot of money. A lot of money you have to spend. Oh well. I probably should. It's kind of... It's kind of like the entire thing, like all my stuff revolves around me. Of the capture card, I can't make a lot of my content. Whether it's videos or streams or... Even some of my shorts I record my own footage for. Depends on the short, depends on the short, right? Oh! Oh my god! Luigi with a clutch! Bonus 
where it's just okay. Oh my god, we have a minute and a half left. There are some timers in the air, so we can grab those to save ourselves. Okay, there is a lot up here in the air, we can grab these. Alright. Oh yeah, this is a lot, this is a lot. Bing, 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 bing. 69, nice. One more. 73. Yeah, the timer series is kind of strict. A minute left. We've gotten 70 something though, but there's still a few more left in the air. We'll probably like, like just miss one in the air. It's gonna be really stupid. Grab that one. And there's one all the way over there that we just left. Love to see it. No, come on, come on, Luigi. 76, 76 with 40 something seconds left. That is, that is tight, that is tight. I didn't get the one in the tower quite here. Right, that's like two. Right, 78. Are there any nearby clocks? There's a clock in there. Clocks are 30 seconds, I think, right? Or maybe just 10 seconds, but still, we, we do need more time. Yeah, let's go for the clock, let's go for the clock. Oh, there's a ton of purple coins in here. Oh my god, are there extra? There might be more than 100, right? May not be exact. Only 10 seconds. Okay, seven left though. And they're probably all in this like one chain up here. Oh, we're not, we're not gonna get it. We're so close, we're so close, but we're not gonna get it. No. They're all right here, they're both right there! No! That is, ooh, very, little strict timer. You slow down even a little bit, you lose everything. Okay, but we know where all the coins are. There's none that are like secretly hidden. It just, we need to get better. The ones in the air, you need to grab, like, a bit, like, better. That's all, that's all I can really say. Ooh, and ideally we get all the ones on, like, the same side of the map all at once, so we don't have to, like, do back and forth, back and forth. That wastes time as well. Right. Ooh, I actually, hello there. Let's see. Look, it's Giga Chat Funny Man. Long name, but hello there. That's... And we just fly over to the other side. Grab the one coin be up at, up here first. Grab this first. Grab that. And then grab these over here. Alright. It's fine. I think we can get it this time. Woo! Alright, go up here. Grab the amp. Double coin acquired. Alright. 30? We're Gucci. We're Gucci. We're living good. It's not strict, you're more likely to get it the second time? Probably, probably. We just need to get the ones in the air a bit better. Less starting stopping, more just going consistent. Like that, that that's fine, it's clean. Open that up, we need another clock, all right. Grab that one. Grab the one up there. Grab that, and then get the one in the block. Okay. Looking classy, looking classy. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. These ones in the air are a little tricky, because you miss them, you're kind of like cut out of like a lot of them. Yeah, this wastes a lot of time. Goodness gracious. That's fine, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just make another loop back. It's a lot easier to target a single coin than targeting your group coins. One. Okay, whatever. Go, go refill. We're, we have, we're halfway there, but we spent half the time. There's still like two like really big like chunks of uh, coins that we need to collect. That's fine. We can deal with that. One, two, three. Okay. Fifty-five coins. Okay, nice. Points here. All right. I do need to eventually collect all the coins. So. Oh, so much time! Wait, there's still there's still a clock, and there's a clock in the little thing that we can grab. We didn't get the clock from ground pounding as well, so we still technically have like 20 seconds more than is displayed. Okay, grab that. Great. Yeah, let's go over here. Let's grab that. Grab everything in that little uh, dungeon little thingy. I'm not like reading chat too much because I'm I need to get this started. Alright, let's can refill our red star. As well as get us a bunch of other stuff. Ooh. 
All right. 74 acquired. All right, there's like two more in there. There's another clock and there's like four there. All right, we should be fine, we should be fine. We have plenty of time, plenty of time. Okay, a minute left. I need more. Okay, there's still a few in the air right there. And there's a bunch in the middle section, right uh, near the loops. Come on, come on, come on. There's one floating in the air right there. Never by the chain ball. Move, move, move. Okay, grab those. Great. I already go get the one over by the end. It's fine. I think the rest are all up there. It's only 12, and like there's there's three groups of four. Should be fine. Should be fine. We got this. We got this. We got 30 seconds to get all that. That's not bad. It's not bad. Boop. One left, one left, 20 seconds. Not bad, not bad. Star acquired. Ooh, all right. A little scary, a little scary, but we're done. There we go. Not half bad. So all that remains is that. Ooh, the one comet medal, and then likely the comet that spawns from it. Maybe, maybe there's not another comet medal. Not too bad. See, not that strict. Yeah, 20 seconds left isn't too bad. Ooh, yeah, definitely not as bad the other time. And there we go, star acquired. Yeah, there's probably there's probably 10 stars in the mod. That makes sense. Game has been saved. Let's get that last comet medal, let's defeat the mod. Wherever the comet medal is. Ooh, all right, all right. Yeah, everything else is the crown next to it. Imagine it's just the comet medal though. That would be a little lame if there's no comet. But we'll, we'll go for completion anyways. Because it's a good mod. It deserves every second it is. Okay, I just I just don't know where to look. We've done this one twice. So I don't know like really where to like explore out of the bounds. This one's not really like a really like open level. So there's not like secrety areas. I don't know. That's like that's the tricky part about this. Unless it like requires like thinking outside the box or something. There's a comment? So there, okay, that, that's good. That makes it, like, worthwhile. Hmm. Okay, get up there. Whack, whack, whack. No, don't. Okay. However, we can get up to the top. Whack that guy off. How do you go all the way up there? That's strange. Mario Galaxy physics work front for once? Real? You remember now? Yeah, yeah, please give a hint, please give a hint. I don't want to waste my entire time exploring every nook and cranny of the galaxy. As good as the game is. Ooh, I've already done this galaxy twice. Let's see. Hmm. Let's get a run through. The Hot Metal hides underneath using the central gimmick of the galaxy. Well, the central gimmick of the galaxy is these little thingies. You know what planet's hidden underneath on? Because honestly, underneath would mean a lot of things. Is it to where, like, the round section, or is it still this, like, square section? Ooh. Is this one or two? This is technically Galaxy 2, but it's a mod, so it doesn't really matter. Like, this is a custom mod, so... Ooh, it doesn't really matter too much what game we're in, right? Because ultimately, like, when you peel the games back far enough, it's kind of hard to tell the difference. Alright, go yonder. And now we grab that. Or no, he didn't jump for some reason. It's fine, just Starbits. We don't really need Starbits that much. We can use the Starbits to break the mines, and that can help us out a little bit, but we don't have to. Matters for people that have only one game. Oh, true, yeah, if they have only one of the games, then yeah, you obviously can't, like, use both mods. But most mods are for Galaxy 2 anyways, so honestly, if you are using Galaxy 1 for modding, you're, you're, kind, of, you're kind of limiting your options. Ooh. Not as much mods for Galaxy 1, because Galaxy Mod just, it's just more limited. And both, like, the things in the game to work with, as well as, like, the tools, uh, the modding tools just aren't as good for it. Break that. Break that. 
Man, I feel like that would have been like a good place to hide the secret. It just, it just wasn't there. Simple solution, get both games. True, yeah. Imagine playing mods and not playing the base game. That's something I always found is weird. Some people haven't played the base game of like certain games and they start playing mods for it. And that's really, like, it's not like a big problem like Nintendo games or something because Nintendo mods just aren't common. But it's kind of an issue like in indie games. I've noticed that. Ooh. Like, usually, usually mods are designed if you have like a skill set obtained after like playing the hard content of the base game, you know? Well, I would definitely not play a mod if like, you haven't played the base game, because mods are definitely like made of like a different player set level of mine. Like, I'm not gonna say this mod is hard by any means, but it's far harder than anything you'll find in the base Mario Galaxy games. Oh no. I gotta use momentum to get up there. No, I went too far! Oh, I thought it was clever. Is this video about to end? There's one more comment and one more comment left. So I don't think I'm ready. We don't know where it's gonna end soon. I still gotta find this comment wherever it is. It could be anywhere. Well, let's break that. We've gotta break the, the I can't word! Oh my god, we gotta break the mines. That's the big issue holding us back in this level. And they give us plenty of star bits, so like it's not like something we can't do. Come on, come on, Luigi. Means for people who have played the original game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I imagine after playing the perfect run, you should be more than capable of beating any of these levels. It might be a little tricky depending on your skill level, but they're not bad. I get up there. PvZ mods. See, I was playing the Ecclese mod, I never even played the base game. Truly a maniac. Oh, no, it wasn't Ecclese, it was, it was a different mod, sorry. It's like Reflourished or something. Ooh, but Reflourished is probably better because you don't have to like pay for the plants or anything. You unlock them through gameplay, which is really cool. Reflourished, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I am not ready for like... Stop! Just break the mines, just break the mines, hack. It's so much easier, it's so much easier. You don't have to deal with the jank. I can't break the amps because the amps are fine. Oh, I did not press A! I didn't press A yet! It is, it is grabbed! I think it's because the cursor's like panicking. I don't know why my cursor's being weird. God damn it. Oh, it's unfortunate. Oh well. I was holding the A button because I was still holding the other one. But for some reason, it clicked that one. That's weird. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Kind of annoying. The base game's a mobile game, so it's understandable. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's annoying though. I was, I was holding the A button from the previous one. I guess it like spamming like a little cursor being the cursor. It grabbed that. I don't have my motion bar in the normal spot, so that's when the most of the thing that sometimes it's being finicky. Oh, I don't want it. This part of the level is like definitely harder than the rest level, like weirdly. Like I, the part after this is not nearly as bad. I don't know why this part's like tricky. A lot of timing stuff. We can break the mine, so it shouldn't be that bad. You're not last long, PvZ, please? I probably would not. Uh, that's very realistic. We're gonna be honest. Honesty is the best policy. Unless it's not. Sometimes lying is what you need. Lying leads to success, guys. Keep that in mind. Well, guys, would I ever whatever would I ever lie to you about lying? No, no, I wouldn't. Most honest person known to man. Come on. Okay, secret story, secret comment. Lying is surviving? Well, okay, well, if, you're, if you don't want to die, you can lie about it. Now we sit and wait. Tell no secrets, tell no secret. Let's see your back, you're welcome back, Frederick. Ooh, so it's not there. Okay, so there's still all these planets, right? Underneath something is going to be a comment. Underneath something. There's this big area, right? Not around the back. It's not underneath that. Let's see. And there's this. This isn't 3D. It's like little bars don't really matter. You can just walk around them. Kind of fun. 
Ooh, is this is this underneath? Ooh. It is! There we go. Yeah, look on this planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a little camera for it as well. That's good. That's good game design. Alright, alright. Now we can get out of here, go get the helmet, and we'll be done with the mod. Kinda 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 sad, but it was a good run while it lasted. This was a really good mod. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lag spike? Whoa, apologies for that. Goodness gracious, I have not had a lag spike in a little while. Sorry for that, guys. Wow, well, usually my internet's fine. We've been fighting the capture card. Now that was that was internet. So. Oopsies. Sorry about that. Don't mean to have things like that happen. Stream actually like that. The real stream, not the capture card. Huh. Oh. Nintendo or Nintendo really does not want to stream me this mod, does it? Huh. It's unfortunate. Everything's fighting me, the capture card and the stream. Alright, it would have been funny if you got the medal. Yeah, imagine people were like, oh stream ain't it? He got the last thing. There's still one more there's still one more star. We're not done yet. Your streaming career is a battle against the algo, your internet, and capture card? I feel like streaming is not even a battle against the algo. I feel like to be successful in streaming, you just need to have a popular audience somewhere else. You cannot be popular off of streaming alone. I, I think back in the day, if you ask a lot of the big streamers how they got popular, they're like, oh, just keep streaming, just keep streaming. Eventually one day you'll blow up. I think that, that's not possible now. I think there's just too many other streamers to blow up naturally just by streaming. As someone who streamed for like three years, yeah, I, I can. I, I think that's not enough thing to say. Ooh, so it's not even a battle against the algo, unless I'm like making content now. And I'm making my shorts. My shorts, oh, my shorts battle. Not if you're a female. Look, look, we always joke about female streamers having an easier rank or something. Like it's always important to uh, remember that uh, all the biggest streamers are male. So like. Female, if you're female, there there may be something that's easier there, but ultimately, like, they have it harder in, like, the final stage of streaming, you know? So, I don't know. It's hard to say. Hard to say. Hard to say. Not really an easy answer, you know? YouTubers own the most dollars? Now... I don't know if that's... I, I, th it's weird. Because when I go into VTuber streams, they actually do have a lot of them. And I, they usually get a lot of donations, but I don't know if that's just like they have like a really good community or the people are doing it. I, I don't know. They do get a lot of money though. I, I would be stupid to say that they don't. Like this is something Paris pointed out. Paris was like, Paris was like, I see a lot of people. Uh, Paris was talking to me. He was, he was saying he gets a lot of people like his size. He watches their streams. He was like, he notices like they get more donations than he does. He was like, I wonder why. It's like, yeah, I do wonder why. Uh, now if you're like a VTuber, maybe, maybe it's just you have like a, your sugar daddy or something, but like, it is odd. It's like, what drives people to donate? I do wonder. What, what does drive people to donate? It's, it's kind of tricky, you know? You think about it, right? Like, ultimately, what? I don't think donating streamers is very wise. Say, uh, use of your money. As so, as me, like, I only donate to my friends for fun. I don't know if donating to streamers is something. Donating to make the streamer do something? Maybe, maybe. I can see that. Ooh. Kinda weird. It's kinda weird, so. I don't know. I don't I don't know what drives people to donate. Some people like come in, they donate like extraordinary amounts of money. They'd be like, here's four hundred dollars, keep on doing your job. It's like Okay. You know, would you would you donate four hundred dollars to like a person who's like normal? It's kinda weird. Kind of a weird discussion to think about. Prank their comment detected. I don't know. Streaming culture is weird. We just normalize giving money to like people on the internet. That's odd. And then, like video creators who arguably work harder. Video creators arguably work harder. Don't get donations. So I don't know. Like it is very rare to see people use the super thanks uh, option on a video. So this is basically the level we were doing a little bit more aggressive. That's interesting. Oh, the Octuba is triggered for a little time as well. I wish I could read you receipt on one day. You'll doubt you'll ever stream at our times. You don't have to stream at our times. You just have to stream. Uh, you could stream before, right? And just end uh, like right, like an overlap. 
Don't have to necessarily limit yourself to just streaming during the time. I, I think... Ooh, it's just there a little wonky. Streaming around the end. Around the ID. Woo! And you're female? Oh, we're, we're just discussing like female uh, streamers versus male streamers. Us TMC was saying female streamers have it easier, but like statistically, they have it like harder in the long run. So it's weird, it's weird. I don't know. Don't know how it works. St streaming is honestly a mystery. There's, there's a lot of things I still haven't covered. And ultimately, all you can really do is put out the best. I couldn't spin! Put out, do the best thing. Do they do it have it easier with money? Yeah, but if you have less viewers, then like, does it, does it matter as much? I don't know, because I feel like if you build a, you build a community around simps, you don't have like true fans. And the ones you have may give you money, right? But, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's as good. I think people that like actually watch your other content and support you outside of just like your looks, I think that's more important as well. And I think, I think it's just harder for females to build that, you know? Having a non like superficial relationship with the viewers is probably harder. That's probably what like limits like the growth of like the high end. It's easy to get people to click because there's like the, the people like, oh my goodness, who do you YouTube? Like ultimately, like if you're if you're like YouTube personality, who do you YouTuber? That's all you'll really be. It's kind of hard to escape that. You can't really have like intellectual thought with your viewer when that's how you limit your uh, like presentation. Gar is 4.5? Keep in mind, she's the biggest, she's the biggest YouTuber in the world. The biggest in the world, I think. Like, keep in mind, there's a lot of like regular people that are much bigger, you know? So I don't know if it's like a really like fair comparison. Also, Gara, Gara Gura is not booby YouTuber. Maybe, maybe that's even why she's so big. Maybe that's why she's as big as she is, you know? Ooh, that that might even be like a factor. The fact that she's not a booby YouTuber. I think the boot like being like someone who focuses on like the sex stuff might be off-putting to a lot of people, especially uh, female viewers as well. I bet female viewers, like, imagine like being like a girl and like you're watching that and like your mom walks in like, what do you even say? What do you even say? As a guy, they'll be like, ugh, horny, but like, I don't know, it, it like really limits your audience. Nice. She's still simped over? I mean, anyone can be simped over. A lot of male, like even ha male uh, streamers are simped over, right? Like, Dream has a simp. Oh, there was a lot of dream sims. Trust, trust, trust. Dream has people wanting him. So, you know, it's not, it's not something like, it's not entirely avoidable. If you're mildly good looking, you'll, you'll have someone thinking that. It's not really, it's not a bad thing to be like. Ooh, it's, just, it's just something like you just gotta like be aware of and acknowledge. Alright, come on, come on, we'll get in there. Model being a goober is nice, honestly. I mean, like, honestly, like, if you're watching Gara, people are like, oh, you're not a, like, I don't know, if you're watching someone else, like, I don't know, there can, there can be some, like, negative connotations. Because VTubers, there's kind of, like, a, like, kind of, like, overall, like, stigma with VTubers and stuff. I think they're neat. Ooh, neat. It's a neat concept, it's a neat concept. And I would love if there was, like, a VTuber in the community I could, like, collab with. Oh, maybe one day, maybe one day that'll happen. Cause I, I think there's like an interesting culture and everything all around us. It's interesting to discuss at least. Cause it's like, it's just like another form of streaming. But what's really weird, usually VTubers don't like collab with other people who aren't VTubers. It's like, it's like it's its own side of like YouTube, some parallel side. And also something I see, VTubers usually don't make a lot of content. Most VTubers I see do only streaming. Like, some, some make shorts, but I don't really see VTubers making videos, which is really interesting. If you ask me, like, big content creator, they say videos is everything. Like, when we was watching Pear, right? Uh, not Pear, uh, Wilnet. Choctopus actually visited him, and Choctopus was telling Wilnet that the secret that he needs to do is work on long-term videos. And that's something, like, Wilnet kind of, he knows he needs to do, he's just not doing. So it's kind of, it's, like, weird. It's weird. Ooh. If Gar tried to pass up being cute while being male, would it work? Yeah. Well, males. As a male, your goal is to, like be cool or funny. I think I think those are your options, right? Ask any tips on content. You just gotta get started. That's all I can say, man. That is the hardest part. All right. I believe that is it. I believe that's all four galaxies complete. Ooh. 
All right, and then ultimately that is Super Mario Gravity's demo complete. The first four galaxies. I can't wait to see what they do when they fully finish the game later on. But yeah, great. Honestly, really good mod, dude. That's insane. Those of you that stayed away like the entire time, I mean, stayed around the entire time. Y'all have seen just how insane this mod is. I can't wait to see what they do when they have like their full like thing all together. Because already this is really ambitious and they did a lot of work. Very good mod, very good mod. Cannot wait. There's a new Mario's apartment themed apparently? Uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to listen to the music later, I can't really like focus on that on stream. But yeah, thanks for coming all as long as you did. And do you return again bro, chill you? When is the mod fully complete? Oh, it's not gonna be complete for several years. This is not something we can look forward to uh, anytime soon. Like, this demo took ages to come out. So yeah, thanks for coming all around as long as you did, bro chachos, until we return again. Hacked Crusade, signing out. Adios, bro chachos. Outro time. What a cool mod, though. Dude, oh, so much respect. That is insane. Oh, my goodness. One day, one day, we'll see the Edge of Mario Galaxy modding.